How is everyone doing? How's it going? We are live. We got a good one today. How's everyone's day going? How is it going? How's it going? I'll get the hellos in the chat. How's it popping? What's hanging? Who's chilling? I hope it's good. We're going to try something new today. We're going to have a new setup for how we have the layout of everything. Finn, welcome. Good to see you. Sam, with the hype, the Mabel hype, which we're going to talk about soon. Kyle, lots of sunshine here. I like to hear that. That's good. That's good. You deserve a lot of sunshine in your life. So yeah, we have a good get, uh, guest today. Um, before that, I just want to talk about a little bit of what happened in my life recently. Um, so as of yesterday, I took a phone call from my doctor and he was like, hey, um, you've been having some issues with your knee. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you've been feeling a little tired recently. I was like, yeah. But I was like, you know what? It's probably just something like usual. And he's like, I think you might be safe taking a COVID test. And me being the person I am, there was no, um, I didn't realize that like I'd be ever a person that could be affected by COVID in any way or in any sense like that kind of close and definitely had a scare when my doctor said, oh, you need to go have a COVID test. So I went and t took the test yesterday. I actually got it this morning. I'm negative. We we're all good, but definitely a scary thing in my life. Not something that I would want to wish on anyone. Um, but yeah, be safe, safe out there. Wash your hands, wear your masks, be careful. Six feet of six feet of feet apart. And yeah, I need you guys to be safe. I need you guys to see these streams and join in the conversations. So our guest today has recently hit 730% follower increase on Twitch. There's engaging streams, which feature games like Overwatch and Dark Souls. You'll likely meet Mabel, his adorable dog, or you might see parts of his merch, which I will add is very fashionable. Today we were, we were gonna try and convince him to give me a free headband, because they're really sick, uh, as we engage in deep conversations with our guest, Sam Fashion. Welcome to the conversation, Sam. Exactly. Yeah. There's always, there's always, there's always a reason for why I do this. <laughs> but yes, I do love the headbands, they're sick. Sounds good. So if I keep if if I keep you for three, do I get like six? <laughs> Sounds good. I'll take Mabel. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Finn. I appreciate it. Um, but how about Sam's headband? Can we talk about that? Like, <laughs> uh, no, no, it's. Per I think it's good. I think it looks good on my side. It's, it looks. Good. <laughs> Mess me off, Niff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, so I got a couple questions for you today. Uh, I just want to remind you that all these questions are up to your comfort to answer. If you prefer not to answer a question, that is okay. I will stop asking you just as long as you let me know. Uh, if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't want you feeling uncomfortable on any part of this. Uh, if you have any questions... Oh, no, no, no. I can't hear what we're supposed to. No. He's saying great things. Okay, we're going to drop. Okay. How about now? Can you guys hear him now? Hello, check. One, two. Doctor. Doctor, can you hear me? Please give me the diagnosis. Finn, I need I need I need you in chat, bro. You need to tell Dr. me, Finn. can we hear? Dr. Uh, Finn. Doctor. Wait, I literally have the stream pulled up. Let me see. Yeah, I can yes, hear. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna get some incredible uh, echoes if you put on that stream too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so awesome. what we said is that this is Sam. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to remind you that um, all these questions are up to your comfort to answer. If you prefer not to answer the questions, just feel free to let me know, and I'll stop asking them. I don't really feel uncomfortable at any point of this. And if you have any questions for me throughout this, feel free to ask them at any point. All good. Hell yeah. Reefy, hello, Reefy. How's it going? And Kyle. Better? Awesome. That's what I like to hear. We, we, we have figured out the audio problems. Keep in mind, we are trying something new today. If it doesn't work, we have a backup plan to switch back into what we were doing previously in previous streams. But I want to see if this works. I want to see if this is actually going to be cleaner and more 
reactive and better. If it's not, please let me know. I, w- I would love to love to hear your guys' input. So my first question for you is what made you want to begin streaming? Oh, boy. Um, well, so I'll, my streaming started back in like 2016 i got this pc um and i thought mm-hmm. might as well you know it was really popping back i mean still popping but it was really popping back then so i'm like you know i play PUBG every single day might as well go live um so i started doing that and it was, it was a weird time in my life where i was in kansas and i moved away and i couldn't continue doing it nor did i really care to um it was just something i did for fun i had like maybe 40 followers um and then I pretty much, it just took a backseat. I didn't care about it enough. So then when I started towards the beginning of like this COVID thing, I just picked it back up and it really just kind of took off. I mean, I'm not huge by any means, but uh, people were very receptive to it. Um, so I kind of just did it out of boredom, I guess. And I really like trying to figure out things with OBS and like how these things work because I like, I have like a pretty strong I don't know, not affection, but but like, uh, I think like Dr. Disrespect streams are so cool. Like the shit he can do. Like, I don't give a shit about mm. watching. Wait, can I swear? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, um, I, like, I don't care about watching his gameplay or really him too much. I mean, his little gimmick was fun for a while, but all his like cool scenes and stuff were always so like inspiring to me. Like I want to like learn how to kind of do that kind of stuff. So like, that's the shit I like to do. And playing games is, you know, just, something i do anyway so i kind of mixed it all together started streaming if some people want to watch awesome but it's definitely not like a lot of people are like i just you know i want to make it a career but it's it's not that for me it's just fun hobby something to do while we're all stuck at home so and not getting too technological but i i i so when i've hopped in your stream that was kind of what made me want to get you on here because i think you are definitely a tinker and someone who thinks outside of the box which is very interesting and and like looking at your stream scenes like the the bell roll and stuff like that like and you've even went out of your way and helped me try and figure out how to do that yeah. um i i <laughs> i have not been able to get it up yet uh, yeah. but i also don't know where it would fit into this kind of layout either i would say it's there's a lot of little aspects that you got you have in there and i see you already have it on there so actually if you guys want i posted exclamation mark guest in our chat who which gives you guys all of sam's links if you go to his twitch and actually follow him right now his lights will go off right now it actually went off when someone followed him at the very start of the stream and he's sitting there like what's happening yeah Um, it's funny because you guys won't be able to hear the alerts either so it'll just be the visual parts of the alerts uh, you won't hear it, but there's a whole thing that, I mean, the, the alert's supposed to pop up. It has a cop car that pops up on my stream, but if you do it today, it'll literally just be that, and you can't hear anything. <laughs> it's very loud in my ears. But... Oh, is there, is there something going off in your ears? Yeah, it's police sirens, and it goes, whoop, whoop, oh that's the sound of the police, and then police sirens. Okay. Uh, but, uh, am I, am I dropping frames like crazy? I don't know. Um... It might be the stream. I on my side, you're not, but it might be the actual stream itself. It looks well, like you might. Be. I look, I look pretty good frozen, so that's okay. Um, yeah, you got, a, you got a good smile on you there. Why yeah, is it yeah. frozen though? I have no idea. It no is completely idea. frozen, and that's not. Let me check out my video. Turn it back on. No, I don't know. Um. We're not on Discord. Frozen. We are on something new. Uh, so we have Discord as a backup, though, in case, you know. Correct. As long if my voice is laggy, then it's a bigger issue, I would suppose. What's up, Chad the Deviant, my boy? Yo, Chad, Everybody. what's up? We are struggling with these. this camera here. Okay, I'm just trying to reset it here and see if it works. It's now I, I got a dark screen at you now. Um, my ugly face yep. broke the stream. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, give me one no, second. No. We're, going, we're going to quickly hit a break for just a second here. Uh, we're going to switch over to Discord because this is not working right now. So give us a quick sec here. We'll be right back with more questions. Just please hang tight here. Knowing that you've given it your all. You've given it your best, you know? At least you've tried. At least you've given it 100%. You never know unless you try. And- I've been asking streamers, what three items would you bring to the register if you were trying to make a cashier uncomfortable? Here's what they said. Uh, what three items you want to make a cashier comfortable? Condoms, baby food, 
and Icy Hot. <laughs> what three <laughs> items would you bring to the register if you wanted to make the cashier at the grocery store uncomfortable? One carrot, a, a pack of condoms, and um, lube. Extra large. Yeah, well, they're going to be able to fit around the carrot. Sounds like a fun night alone. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. So, what three items would you bring to a cashier at a grocery store if you wanted to make the cashier uncomfortable? Hemorrhoids cream? Zucchini? That's as tough as close to home. <laughs> <laughs> and applesauce. Dessert possible, you're just making up. This is part four of asking streamers. What's the best advice you've ever received? Here's what they said. What's the single best you ever received? Whoa. And his friend is bringing out the sentimental in me. <laughs> Get to know yourself. I know that sounds really, really, really. All right. We fixed it, I think. I think we fixed it. I think it's good. I think it's better. It's a whole lot better. Thank you for all staying. I appreciate it. There's a lot of hype in the chat there. First off, hi mom. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to everybody. Mom. One of my streams, mom. It's, I yeah. So Lisa Solly is my mom. She comes to Hell almost yeah. every my streams. Um, she's like she's like a hockey mom, but like a stream mom. Well, I mean, she was a hockey mom when I was younger, but now she's I a mean, stream mom. She's Canadian as well. Of course, she's a hockey mom. She, of course, yeah, exactly. Right? They're all uh, hockey moms. Got, They're just born into it. Right. We also got Donovan in here. I see. What's up, Donovan? How's it going? What's it called? You're, apparently, you're joining in right when I'm right when I'm breaking things. <laughs> the, the photo is always like five pixels to hundred forty. Um, that sucks. <sighs> happens with mobile. What's it called? CJ. What's popping? What's good? It's good to see you. Thanks for joining in. Kyle's still here. I love it. Thank you guys for staying. I appreciate it. So let's get back into the questions here. I'm so sorry about that. I was trying out something new and it did not work, but I'm hoping this will work. I hope you guys um, saw my lights. I mean, I think my lights broke the whole stream. We were talking about my flashing lights, right? and then suddenly, I think someone's gonna have to go yeah. follow you to, now, so we make sure that we actually, so we can show them what we're talking about. Yeah, so let's just bait all followed, the followers yeah. into my channel. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be I think you guys are gonna have to go follow. So if you do exclamation mark guest, which I'm currently typing in right now, you will see all of Sam's links. Please go click them. Go follow him. Go go in there. Um, and you'll see what he is doing. But if you if you follow him on his channel, his lights will go off his stream, and apparently it'll be really loud in his ear. So it'll be great because we can deafen him today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Braden. How's it going? What's popping? Or sorry, that's Brad. I think that's Brad. Brad. Yes, it's Brad. Oh, I followed. Oh, me. we got a follower. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. I believe you, CJ. Your mom is a, is a super mom. It's true. Sam, my mom's in my streams a lot as well. Uh, and she oftentimes well, texts here. me. Uh, she oftentimes texts me, like, after I do something. She goes, hey, don't say that. Or, <laughs> are you drinking soda? I'm like, yeah. She's like, it's 9 p.m. <laughs> Yo, so in your nose. Thank you for the follow, homie. There we go. See, so that's what his lights does now that we actually can see it. Okay, so now we're going to get to the questions now that we baited someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. So I asked you about this, the streaming. I, I We heard your question, but we didn't see you moving. So I'm going to ask you another question just because I don't want to go over that one again sure. considering we have that. My, my next question to you, do you have any secret hobbies or talents or skills that people most likely not might not know about you uh that you'd be interesting with uh sharing with us yeah uh i mean it's not really secret but people in my stream probably don't know a ton but i i play drums in a band um and that's kind of why i'm streaming now is because i usually play a lot of shows or i'm touring or whatever we don't tour that much but usually really really busy with that and that's where all my money goes but since covid that's kind of why i picked up streaming as well because i that huge part of my life is completely taken away for now. So yes, for Million Heights. Um, so it's a pop punk band. I play drums. Uh, a lot of people in my chat don't know that. And it's not like I'm hiding it for a moment. It just doesn't come up. But you know, um, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's a fun hobby. What else? What else do I got? I got, uh, I can, I can fold my tongue. Is that a, is that a, a show us? Okay, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, okay. yeah that's wait, a Wait, hang on. Hang on, can you stick it up? Can you stick out your tongue further? Further? Like, I'm, I'm trying to, like... Mm. 
Okay, I sorry. At first, I thought you meant like you can do it with like, your t- like your teeth holding it. I was like, yeah, that's okay. But then uh, I realized you're actually. Oh my, that's okay. That's impressive. Yeah, All right. yeah, it's something. It's something. You know, it really gets them going. Gets whoever them are. It gets them going. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so, yeah. So I, th- I think um, just in the chat, I see that Finn's asking you like, what games are you playing? So I, from what I'm, if I'm correct, I believe right now it's the bigger ones are Overwatch and Dark Souls. Is that right? So yeah, I just I, I like to pick up games I've never played. Uh, so Dark Souls right now is like that blind playthrough. I'm very very bad at it, so we'll see how that goes. Overwatch I play a lot of. Um, I've played a lot of Nintendo S games. I love Mario. Um, but as far as like competitive games go, I know like every other streamer plays uh, COD. I don't play COD. I don't like it. I don't like Fortnite. PUBG was okay oh, for no, a while, no, no. but it's just it's just Overwatch for me in that in that arena. But I like to pick up random one player games play through them i did a lot of hollow knight um recently and that went really well cuphead went really well i played that for the first time and i probably the best gamer of all time so there's that you know Ooh. it's a fun fact you heard it best here. gamer you heard of all here. time yeah <laughs> so if you want great gaming skills except for on dark souls except for dark souls <laughs> which that game's bunk dude i don't know what to tell you it's cheating every time i play it it's well, cheating What's donovan says that everyone sucks at Everyone says that Donovan or Donovan says that everyone sucks at uh, Dark Souls. So I think everyone you're, you're says good. that Donovan sucks at Dark Souls. Donovan, it's okay. You don't suck at. I don't think no. you do. No, no, uh, no, no I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, no, not, not not him. I think I think he just said that everyone is. <laughs> um, my opinion of Minecraft. Uh, not to like. I, I guess I don't know if you want me to answer questions in chat or whatever. But you can go for it if you'd like. Yeah. I'm trying to like it, and I just don't get it. I just don't get how this is the biggest game in the world. Uh. Really? I just, I don't know. I just like I love Legos and sure like building stuff is cool but <laughs> like I've done like the survival mode esque stuff and I'm just like I don't know, man. It's just not for me. I can't get into it. Um I want to and I like my chat always wants me to. It's almost become like a meme in chat where it's just like play Minecraft. And I'm just like no cuz all my friends play Minecraft. We all are in a server together. I've been in there like four times. I don't know. That's How fair. many times can I craft a pickaxe and go back to the same mine and die <laughs> yeah i don't know it's not for me that's fair i mean it's not for, and not every game is gonna be for everyone and yeah. i think with my experience with minecraft i i like minecraft i i'm not like i'm not gonna be someone who's gonna be like oh like everyone has to play minecraft yeah and i agree with finn is it is a lot more fun to play well i think most games with with friends and right. i think that's kind of why you see a lot of these twitch players doing this because single players are fun but it's even more fun having engaging chats with people while you're actually playing a game that you like. Right. Like a single player game. No, I, I, I agree. Like, I know that my opinion is the wrong opinion because it's very much the minority. Like, every gamer likes Minecraft, it seems like. Or at least, you know, like, plays it casually. Maybe they don't play it on ton on stream or whatever. But I just, like, I almost hate the game. <laughs> I don't know if that's because, like, I don't understand why this is popular, so I must hate it. Kind of hipster-esque. <laughs> But, like, I'm just like, we just play some blocks down. Like, what are we doing here? What's the point? Uh, <laughs> all right, that's funny as, like, a Lego over. fan. Like, that. that's it's, it's funny that as, as a Lego fan that you're not a fan of Minecraft. Because I'm a huge yeah, Lego fan as well. Right. And it's, it's, I think that's kind of where my creativity came from. Is like, oh, I can basically play, like, Legos, but in a video game. And they don't take up space in my house. That's great. Yeah, there you go. That's true. Uh, <sighs> if you're given three mm-hmm. things to make you happy... So things, material things, what would these things be? So if I, like things I already have or just. Yeah. Or I mean, it, um. Anything. It could be anything. I'll it could s- be let's anything. say anything. Ooh. Three things that make me happy. My dog, 100%. Could be any dog. Okay. I mean, I love my dog a little bit more than every <laughs> other dog, but a dog a is, is vital. I think my girlfriend would say the exact same. So yeah. I, <laughs> I think if like you're not a dog person something wrong probably because dogs bring happiness and nothing else sometimes they Very bring true. poop and then they track it inside but listen there's <laughs> happiness underneath that poop um that's the main <laughs> one um hmm what brings me happiness wow that's that's crazy that, that, i mean i could get so philosophical with that question or i could just be like surface level and be like popcorn i really like popcorn it's super <laughs> good um it's totally up to you yeah, wow, wow, I'm really on the spot here. I what brings me happiness? I like. Welcome to the next hour and a half of your life, or more. 
I would say this is a really random answer, but I really like smart home technology. Uh, that doesn't like bring me okay. like overwhelming happiness and turning my lights on with a voice command, but that kind of thing makes me super excited. I don't know why, like adding something to my home that even does super simple, uh, is super exciting to me and that always makes me happy like getting something new or figuring out something new that i can do with it we're coming back to this by the way i want to hear your third one first but we're coming back okay. to this yes okay um and then i will have to say i don't have a can of it right now but i'm gonna go with a superficial answer as well which is arizona rx energy this is in the yellow can oh my god nothing What's that nothing's better oh man I, I don't know why nobody knows of it but it's it's getting to be in every store now uh, as much as Arnold, Parm P Arnold Palmer, it is their like natural energy, so it has like whatever fucking tonics and bullshit in it. But it is so tasty. RX Energy. Um, I wish I could send you a picture. I I'm so surprised I don't have like an empty can. Right, here. When you send me my headbands, like you said you were going to when you were yeah. muted, <laughs> yeah. you can send the you can send me a can because now I'm very interesting. So that. I, I, I'm kind of interested to see what it's like now. Like now that you're saying, is, is it made by Arizona who makes the same like iced tea? Yep. Is that yep. the same company? Okay. Dude, they have okay. So many so like flavors. A... We actually went through like I was gonna do a tier list on stream, so I pulled up all the flavors of Arizona, and there's just too many. So we didn't do an actual tier list, but we we went through like everybody's top five Arizonas, and it was like that was a big part of the stream. I was like, damn, this took like an hour. Like what the fuck? Uh, but my God, I've Arizona. heard. I've heard about this. So there's this, I don't know who it is on TikTok. I like to shout people out because, I mean, we, we all grow together if, if one grows type of thing. But there was someone on TikTok who had like a whole wall. Like it was like a long wall of just Air, like Arizona stacked up and it was all different type of flavors and it was like really cool. Right. So yeah, like I, I never knew that either. Going back to the smart home thing. So I will agree. And my mom has put this in the chat as, as well. Smart home mm -hmm. stuffs makes me super happy as well it's it's really? funny because i never actually thought about that that wouldn't have been one of my top answers off the top of my head but it's definitely probably gonna have to be there now because yeah. oh yeah like totally like it's there's so many things that is in there so you actually can't post links but if you send it to me i will post it for you oh you send me on discord I didn't know or that. um yeah usually it says like hey you can't do that and uh, then i'm like oh yeah but this starts I'll, send, I'll, I'll literally just send it to you so you can see it nobody else can see it That's rx cool. energy baby Oof. next time you go to the store go go to the arizona aisle they might even have a whole aisle. I don't know. Go get the yellow one. Anyway, it's not smart. It, it's not smart integrated stuff, but boy, is it tasty. It's smart. <laughs> the, so as far as the smart homes things, what is your mm -hmm. favorite product you have? This is not one of the questions I usually ask, but now yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm probing for my own no. personal gain now at this point. Um, so I like all the stuff you can do with lights. I know the lights are kind of like the basic first home integration that you'll do. But of course. with them, I mean, like... I love, so I use uh, Amazon, not Google. Um, I use Amazon devices. So my A-L-E-X-A -E uh, controls everything. But like, so I set my alarms with her. And then I, when I wake up, if I, if I dismiss an alarm between like 5 a.m. and like 11, then it like ramps up my lights in the morning because it knows I'm waking up in the morning. It will play a certain radio station if I wanted to. It will turn on my coffee maker if I ask it to the night before. It will um, turn on certain different things it'll ramp things up at certain brightnesses um i also have the ring doorbell that when you ring that in case i'm gaming yeah. it turns all of my lights green for 10 seconds so i know that somebody's here even though that was stupid because mabel's definitely letting me know somebody's here regardless <laughs> um but um i also love the motion sensors that has been huge um and the door sensors so like every monday if i open my door after 5 p.m until midnight she reminds me in the kitchen, hey, take out the trash. Literally every time I open the door. It's, it gets annoying, but like it makes me remember. Um, That's cool. I have, I have an oil diffuser that if I walk in my kitchen, it'll turn on. It'll turn on for 15 minutes, and then it'll turn off, wait four hours, and then wait for the next motion to do it again. So like it always smells good in my house. Um, I don't know. There's lots of shit you can do with, I mean, lights. A simple There's like so light much. motion sensor pack that you can get on Amazon um, is super simple. And there's... There's a whole lot of crap you can do with it. I don't know. That's impressive, though, yeah. In including that... Twitch stuff. I mean, like, you've seen my lights, uh, channel points and all that stuff. That's just stuff I already had. I just had to get a program called Lumia Stream. But, yeah. 
Oh, I'm well, I'm I'm well educated in Lumen, Lumia. Like it's 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 there's a lot, a lot of it. stuff to it, and the, and the UI is a little bit difficult to get the hang of. Maybe. But once you yeah. get it, it's it. There's so much stuff you can do with lights, and I did yep. have it before. It's not all active today, but the the OGs of this channel will know <laughs> what we what what you can do with it, because uh, we we messed around with the two lights that are sitting behind me here. Yeah, I trip over my chair. Um, but yeah, no, there's there's so that's what I like too is. I, I can see a lot of the similarities of between you and I of where we're both kind of tinkerers. Yeah, yeah. And the the tinkering kind of side of me loves smart homes because the possibilities are really endless at this point. Uh, yeah, There's so much you insane. can do. And they're coming out with cooler stuff, like things that can open like your blinds for you and stuff Like is becoming right? pretty common. Uh, I would love to have something like that because I never open them. <laughs> dark and mysterious in here all the time same with me i've actually opened them today because i wanted some natural light on the side of me here but it's yeah. it's it's weird i don't usually have it open on that side and i've just covered it just to the point where you guys it doesn't cut on the screen because i don't want to over exposure the camera yeah for sure um who or what inspires you who or what inspires me superman i think i i kind of answered that question in your tiktok right a little bit yeah a little bit uh it's probably a better answer if it just says who inspires you. Um, cause Superman hundred percent. I am a fucking nerd for Superman. I love him. Um, and just his, his, my favorite plot lines of Superman, um, would be the moral ones. Cause obviously everybody knows he's the strongest, like people. And a lot of people don't like him. It's like, he could do anything. You just, just get a glowing green rock and you can stop him. But like, his moral dilemmas are always way more interesting because he is trying to be such a positive like force in the world and he can do anything and he has to stop himself from doing that. I mean, same thing with Batman. A lot of heroes have that kind of complex of like, I can do this, but should I? Superman takes that to a whole new level because he's, I mean, he's not from here. Uh, he's totally from a different world and he could do anything and people just shit on him constantly. I mean, there's, there's times where the entire world is like just against him because he won't kill the bad guy you know he takes in this guy who just slaughtered hundreds of people in the streets he takes him in you know alive and they're like what if he breaks out again and then he breaks out again and then everybody's pissed at superman it's like you should have killed him and he's like that's not where that's not who i am i don't kill and he has to go through that kind of moral dilemma of what is right and living up to that code and i think that is so cool i know a lot of People are religious and they say live like Jesus, but I'm like, uh, you know, Superman is <laughs> is Jesus to me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Superman is so handsome. That, 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 right that might he is. that might that might get you clipped there. I realized that my my chat actually froze for a second, so I just got a bunch all when you were doing that. So I, I I'm just gonna oh, quickly really? read through them here before we go on to the next one. But I, I see there's okay. a couple things about. Uh, so Chad said smart home baby, which yes, and so him and I are actually working. I'm trying to get him into a little bit of the ecosystem and and teach him a little bit of what I've learned in the last little while and nice. kind of get him to integrate it for his stream because I think it'd be awesome. Smart home makes Brengra and I both happy too. Brengra has set them up in my home and set up as his. I have set them in my mom's house. My mom is is pretty 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 set up. I think my mom has more smart lights than I do actually at this point. Uh, just based off size of house, but it's it's very convenient. Um, Arizona iced tea is so good. I actually don't love Arizona iced tea, but I'm definitely gonna try and see if I can try this one because now I'm interested because I've gotten the recommendation from Sam to try it. And RX is an energy drink. I see Chad has replied to that. Yes, that's awesome. Um, dude used to be addicted to Arizona Arizona green tea and Arnold Palmer. What is Arnold Palmer? Is it kind of like mm -hmm. the same thing? It is their iced tea mixed with lemonade. It, it's kind of their bread and butter. That kind of that's like their big their big product that kind of catapulted them into being like a the main thing in every goddamn gas station you ever see. Um, but if you ever if you ever see arizona you're gonna see an arnold palmer like sometimes they don't have all flavors there's like a mango iced tea one i think and it's fantastic but i hardly ever see it um you should you should go into that rabbit hole of seeing how many there are because <laughs> well maybe i have to do a tier spam, list <laughs> besides spam it has so like probably the most flavors of anything I, i've ever seen spam has like oh infinite goodness. flavors it's insane but i didn't know that i thought it was only one Really? Uh, no, no. There's, I, there's a factory's in my state of Minnesota. So uh, oh. you go there. They have like, hey, you want spam flavored spam? And you're like, what's that? It's like, it's different. <laughs> just say, just buy it. Uh, they have everything. <laughs> it's nice. 
And then Finn said, was it a YouTuber? If so, uh, Capron Funk, I think. I don't I don't know for sure. It might have been a YouTuber. Maybe it's a YouTuber who's doing TikTok. Because I, I, it's not something that popped up on my YouTube, I don't think. Because I haven't really been watching YouTube much. Um, but it might have been. Uh, Mom says, Why s- my wife's home cameras make me happy too. Safety first. Uh, yeah, like that's, I don't, have you ever, have you gotten anything for what from Wise? Yep, this this cable right here is running up to my Wise camera, my indoor one. Love it. And uh, yeah, that's probably one of the best things that I have. The, probably the cheapest smart home thing that mm-hmm. I, I bought. But the like the most, rock. yeah, the most like, one of the best things that I've, I've had for a while um, in there. The, we need to get Juliana a Google Home at your dad's. Yes, my sister probably probably needs one. Yes, <laughs> that's got. She has one at my mom's, but not at my dad's. Um, scrolling here, scrolling here. Superman is so handsome and chivalrous. So the thing is, I'm not like really big into like superheroes and stuff like that. And I finally got around to watching um, Spider Spider Man into the Spider Verse like a while ago. It's probably one of the best movies I've watched in a while. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, no, it's just one of those ones that's like I, I just I don't get into those things too much. It's, it's weird. It's just one of those I, I, I'm just not into as much things like that. But I don't know. Like, see, so I'm not gonna not gonna say don't watch it, but I'm just it's not my right. Thing. Definitely not for everybody. I mean, with Marvel killing the game right now, it seems like a lot more people are into it um, now because of how mainstream Marvel has made it, which is great. I'm not saying that's like a bad thing. Um, so a lot more people are into it now, and you see it everywhere. I mean, it's bec- like superheroes were not that popular back in like the '90s. Not like it is now, where the product placements everywhere. You know, like Thor is like a household name. Like it wasn't a thing back then. Uh, like mm-hmm. oh, it's wild. I think that yeah, I think a lot of the Avengers movies helped that too. Oh yeah, it's huge that promotion of huge. that because yeah, that was that was so big and like those are things that I would obviously even know what and you're exactly right like it's it's things that went from not being household names to now household mm-hmm. names is nobody cared about Iron Man back in the day I mean I be, I didn't even I like superheroes like I watched the cartoon in like the 90s or whatever and it was just like yeah it's kind of cool but now everybody knows who Iron Man is and you see Iron Man merch everywhere and Iron Man bumper stickers constantly or whatever you know have you seen those have you seen the suits that they're selling or like, I don't know if it's them selling it or like like full on like companies suits like, full on suits Hell yeah! It's That's like sick. it's like, and, and some people are making them too. Right, cosplayers gonna cosplay. You know what I'm saying? It's true. <laughs> yeah, don't tell cosplayers they can't do something. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, as a force, are we humans creative or destructive? Destructive. I had it? if I had to if I had to lump it into one of those. Sure. It's destructive for sure. Explain. Uh, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> it as a whole we're fucking things up more than we're making them better um and even when we do make some things better those can have adverse effects i mean like just in the last 200 years the technology boom uh like you know 200 years ago you didn't even know what goddamn (laughs) I, i don't know like anything was and now we have like these tiny computers in our pockets constantly like that's great and stuff but you know we we made cars to the point where it's like killing our planet that's creative but also destructive so like i think if you had to weigh one or the other i think destructive is going to be much higher and our 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 just hate is just insane um there's so much fighting there's so much war there's so much just bullshit all the time um that i think I don't know if there's much hope for the planet past, you know, I don't know, a couple hundred years from now, there's going to be some kind of nuclear holocaust we're all done for, you know, type of thing. Uh, because mm. we just can't get our shit together. You can't just, uh, people can't just get along for any reason. Scary, but I, Religious, but, skin color, literally anything. Any any differences, just like, there's hate. And I was like, wow. Xbox or PS or P- PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I'm a PC gamer. Eradicate all the console gamers. <laughs> um, what gives your life meaning? What gives my life meaning? Man, that that could be broken down into what is the meaning of life, which who knows? Um, what 32? gives my life meaning would probably just be trying trying to make other people enjoy their time a little bit more. Uh, whether it's through streaming or literally just human connections. What's up, Gabe? How you doing, homie? Um, if Hi, I uh, 
I would I would say that would probably be the most meaningful part of my day is making those connections with people. Um, I try to be positive when I when I talk to people, whether it's online or in person or clients at work or whatever. I try to be, you know, a positive experience. Um, and I would say that's maybe the most meaning that my life has taken. Uh, I would say, I mean, I don't think anybody has really any great divine meaning. I don't think there is one like meaning for humans. Uh, Sam has made my time fun. Oh, Gabe, come on now. Come on. So now. I'm assuming Gabe's someone um, from your stream. Is that right? Cause I've, yes, I, Gabe, I, don't think I've met, I don't think I've met Gabe. No. Yeah. Gabe's a guy I play overwatch with quite a bit. He's way better than me. And he puts Ooh. up with me being not as good as him, but he's a really great guy. Um, love him to death. Thank you, but, Gabe. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's a good yeah. dude. So awesome. I, would, no, I, would I like good dudes around here. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, um, I mean, I don't think my meaning is to change the world. I don't think it's anything super grand. And I think if that's, you know, that's your course. Awesome. I think everybody's going to have that, have their destiny, but I don't think it should be, you know, it, it should plague anybody's mind. I think just simply being here and living sometimes is enough. Have you seen like this is, is related, I swear, but have you seen Pixar's okay. newest movie soul? Yes. So isn't good. it great? It's fantastic. Right? And like, yes, he, thinks his like meaning in his life like he's finally gonna make it when he can play jazz you know and right? the soul that doesn't even want to live uh tina fey's character uh, finds meaning in just movie <laughs> nothing. it's I, just I, I mean what's that i said don't spoil the whole movie uh, i'm kidding. not trying to but like <laughs> i mean just finding meaning in just absolutely nothing is just as valid as finding meaning in jazz it's so if true you, if you think you know you have this like thing you have to live up to or you have to make it to this point it doesn't have to be that it literally just existing can be a meaning which is you know dove into way more like not in detail but like you can get that from the movie um you know you take away from it what you what you will but just literally that that See, oh, I you know you're right. I can't spoil it, but goddamn, go watch that movie. It's it's a great movie, and I, I like I know what you're saying because it's it's hard because it it is it is a very I don't want to say simple because that underplays it, but it is at the very end. It's a very simple like mm -hmm. meaning in a in a like thing, but the way they wrap it up and it, it's it's one of those things that you don't it's maybe don't see coming in a sense. Yeah, but it makes so much sense, and it's like why are we always striving for so much more mm -hmm. when there is really the littlest things can make can keep keep us happy and i would be lying if i said that that movie didn't indirectly probably propose this idea to me um yeah. of like asking people questions and kind of seeing what their meaning of life is and what they see in life so there's yeah. definitely is a little bit of correlation towards it i i watched it back in the end of end of 2020 i believe when it, like just when it kind of first came out or a couple weeks after when everyone was like talking about it yeah um but yes, and I think kind of bringing that in, and, and Sam, I'm, I'm oh, sorry, not Sam, uh, Gabe. I'm looking at you as a, as a newcomer to this this stream. Is if you are interested in things like that and, and kind of talking with things like that, I'd, I'd love for you to join that Discord because we do a lot of we do a lot of questions like this. So this morning I asked uh, everyone, uh, what did I ask here? I, oh my goodness, I'm like totally forgetting here. I said, what do you guys love most of life? And so I had a couple couple good answers. I had things about family. I had someone who didn't really know, which is okay. Um, mm -hmm. but I think it's, it's good to know what makes you happy because, or like what brings you joy and things like that and what's, what senses and things like that, because have some of those every so often that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reward yourself with those joyous things and those things that make you happy because I mean, you deserve it. You've been working hard, especially with how crazy the world is right now. It's it's something that's that's so hard um, to keep going, but I think you're you're doing pretty well for yourself as someone who is um, streaming and, and keeping people happy. And I, I I came in with that raid with CJ that night. I actually mm -hmm. came late to the stream and I actually joined into the raid <laughs> as it was oh, going on oh, as oh, it first started. And I saw you and I was like, okay, there's something different about this guy that like I kind of liked, and it seemed very. Um, Seemed very interesting, and it, you, you seem like a very interesting dude, and I got that from the second I joined. I realized that you were a really interesting dude. There's been no one else that I've asked to actually join, uh, to join the stream since, like, of, like, right. a, a raid like that. 
I think oh, yeah. that was probably the best raid that we had with CJ. So props to you, CJ, and props to you as yeah. well for being uh, was, for, for holding entertainment value. Such a sick raid! It was insane. Uh, yeah. What was uh, Ho Hobo? Uh, do you remember what Donovan was it? Donovan. Was Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. Okay. Donovan. Yeah. He was in that raid. Uh, that was sick. Also, hi Charlie. Welcome in. Yeah, uh, what's up, Charlie? Welcome. With the, with the meatball sub emote from my channel. <laughs> Love that, <laughs> Charlie. You're the best. Meatball gang. Sam has Pog streamer energy. Ooh. It's true. You do have Pog streamer energy. I agree. Pog Charlie's a real one. Welcome, Charlie, Charlie, by the way. She rocks. We're asking she questions rocks. here. She, she's also a, a mutual of Gabe and I, so uh, we all play Overwatch together. Oh, so another one who carries you is what you're telling me. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, we carry Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Oh. Yeah. That's your name. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, we carry her fucking hard. That's she's your name. She's throwing all the time. But you know what? We like her pog energies, so we appreciate having her around. We'll carry her to the ends of the earth. You know, you can throw all my games, Charlie. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> hey, Charlie, if you want to teach me how to play Overwatch, you're more than welcome, and we can sit at the, we can sit in bronze all you want all day long. I don't know. There you go. I don't know how to play the game barely. <laughs> Hell yeah, hundred um, percent. Right. But yeah. So um, yeah. Like I think, thinking about that question of like what what makes you. What gives you like meaning it would be kind of the best better way to do it. Or, or, or what's something that you love or in that kind of sense and or what gives you the most love or in whatever you want, way you want to phrase it. There's a couple of ways you could phrase it in that mm -hmm. sense. Um, and yeah, I think I think doing that would be is essential to kind of keeping sanity, I guess, would be the way to put it. My next question for you. How happy are you right now? Considering you said you know what brings you happiness or things that make you yeah. um, meaning or gives you meaning. Do you find yourself doing that right now? How happy am I right now? I, you know, right now I'm, I'm feeling great. Um, I have nothing really negative going on in my life. Thank the Lord. Uh, I, no, so no outside factors are bringing me down. Uh, you know, I, I do struggle with a lot of, uh, trying to be happy a lot. I take my, uh, take my meds here every day. <laughs> For depression and anxiety um sponsored think, by medication yes sponsored by the pharmacy big pharma rules you know give them your money Woo. um no uh but like i you know I, I do struggle with it a lot right now i'm feeling great as long as i keep up on my meds um i think there's a huge uh a lot of times misunderstanding that you know it's just like oh it's just a mental thing it's just in your brain but there's there's tons of things in the outside factors that can of course, can lead to your depression. I think people are just like, oh, it's just a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's like, yeah, that can make it worse, but that's not all it is. Not all the time. So, I mean, sometimes, yeah, there's there's times where I'm not fully happy, uh, and it's really for no reason, and that just happens. But I, I think that's just the way of life. Um, I don't know anybody who doesn't deal with some kind of anxiety or you know, big sadness, whether totally. it's you know, depression, or if you want to call it that, or if it's just, you know, that, that temporary sadness. But like, I think everybody deals with it. I think it's a, just a normal, normal human experience to just not be happy all the time, whether there's outside factors or not. Um, but right now I'm feeling pretty good. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been hanging out with my dog a lot more, uh, you know, which is nice. I've been in the office less. Dog is a good medication. So. Oh, dog! I couldn't. I literally don't think I would be alive without a dog. Um, there, there. I mean, there was times in my life not to get like way too like fucking off the edge on things, but like there's been times in my life where I don't think Absolutely. I would have, uh, you know, made the greatest choices if it was not for literally a dog or specifically Mabel. Um, Mabel, she's cuddly enough, but I have one time I just lost my lost my mind, and I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was just though in the worst spot of my life and she just came up and she just went like right into like the crook of my neck and just laid there with me and she doesn't do that she she doesn't i didn't force her to do that but she did that and i'm just like that is so insane like of course i cried more because i'm <laughs> you like, know you're so cute yeah i was like what the fuck dude <laughs> so like literally i like if you're not a dog person that sucks but like if you do have sadness and you have a chance to get a dog God damn, do it. That's the best medication in my in my world. That's the True. best medication I've ever had. It's just God damn, she's sleeping over there just like, hey, shut the fuck up and feed me. But like, I love her to death. So. <laughs> um, I, love that, I love that you can put a camera on your thing and she sits on that same couch 
every she's, stream. Well, like she was, she's there all the time. So I put the camera there. Like it wasn't, I didn't put her there because I put the camera there. That's just where she's always at. So I'm just like, I'll just position a camera towards her. She usually is there. So oh, she's there right now. I mean, like literally, if I'm at this computer, she's on that couch. I, that's just what she's all about. It's her gaming couch. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> the, that's the Mabel gaming couch. Don't so, don't so mess a couple with things her. to. So a couple things to, to to kind of break down on that thing because that was that that was very deep. So thank you for first off for mm -hmm. kind of getting getting open with us, and that's yeah. kind of the whole point of this is to get kind of open and honest and real. Um, and I I also that's another part of why I brought you on is because I in that few I think it was I was probably in the raid for about twenty minutes or so. In mm -hmm. those twenty minutes, you you kind of hit every mark that I look for. Something about um, being open. Something about kind of. Uh, being kind of funny, um, being able to kind of how, how you <laughs> being a Twitch streamer is kind of one of the things that I appreciate or some sort of social media personnel. Um, and then also being open about uh, mental health. And that was kind of one of the first things I, I saw. And so with me, I have anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok. <laughs> Please go view it if you have it. Uh, go throw a <laughs> like. But there's before my first ever stream that I did uh, of this podcast, I did not sleep the first night. Uh, I slept for maybe two hours, two yeah. to four hours. And I say that in the stream and I probably don't look the best either <laughs> on the first stream because I am so mentally tired yeah. because I was just thinking of all these things of like, what if people don't get my idea and all the other things of that. And, and still, even now I'm every, like the 15 minutes leading up to the stream, my heart's racing really? and I've been able to kind of, kind of bring that down a bit. And it also helps me that and that's why i love getting in, in conversations with 15 minutes before because it kind of distracts my mind and i'm like okay we can kind of get into this kind of groove we're chilling yeah. talking to friends so i think because that's at the end of the day this is kind of what the that's the whole point of this is to talk to friends and get to know people better and i find it even more interesting that it's people who i find interesting and actually are willing to spend the time and hang out with me and talk for two to four hours sometimes yeah, yeah um which is which is awesome and and i so i appreciate you for that and taking your time to even do that for me of course um my and so and then you also touched on like kind of feeling upset and, and mabel being there for you and and that, which leads me kind of to another question is do you remember the last time you cried it doesn't have to be a sad cry it could also be a happy cry do you remember the what? last time you cried and what the reason was it, it had to have been a movie um so i don't cry i'm not much of a crier um I mean, I know, I know. I just got done with that story where I was blowing my head out. With that. I mean, that that happens sometimes, but it's it very rarely gets to that point where I'm actually crying due to you know mental health stuff. So it's just it's just the way I am. I guess I don't know. Just not a crier. But movies often will make me cry. What was it? Do I think it? What do I think it was? Maybe I cried. Maybe I shed a little tear during Unicorn Store the other day when I watched that. Brie Larson shouts out. Uh, was a good though what was a good cry huh maybe I'm, honestly it could have been my grandpa's funeral uh which I'm was in january yeah, yeah, yeah he uh he was it was his time for sure uh he's he's been in like the in and out of hospice for years i mean it's honestly it's probably better that it's over because he was in pain for so long um but like that was rough uh, just even though we knew it was coming, it's like it wasn't like a big surprise. Uh, I was mentally prepared for it for like <laughs> three, four years. Uh, but can you but, ever fully mentally prepare for something like that, right? Right. I mean, then you then you see your grandmother crying over, you know, his, his goddamn corpse, and you're like, oh, now I'm really sad. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Or like walking in, like we were we got there first, the funeral home, and walking in, and my grandma had been there for already for like 45 minutes because she wanted to go early without anybody, and she's just having a conversation with her dead husband i'm like oh this oh this is really sad oh shit okay uh it's like you could be as prepared as you want but then you somebody else does something that's super sad you're like all right cool let's flow yeah. these tears let's go um, let's go yeah right so that, that might have been like the last like real like genuine cracks a lot of times with movies like i'll tear up but like it's not like a real a real good cry sesh you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you gotta get a good cry session once in a while whether you get it from movies or you're just, you know, you have to kill a relative, you know. <laughs> oh, oh. You, you know, you shouldn't kill them. You know, disclaimer, you shouldn't kill them. But, you know, if you got to get the cry out, you got to get the cry out. You know what I'm saying? Terrible. Murder advocates. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> going oh my goodness <laughs> sorry you're, you're this this episode is gonna be so clipped <laughs> I'm a, I, have, I have a horrible sense of humor uh, when it comes to like really like it, like things that shouldn't be joked about like death especially like I have a terrible sense of humor um, and some people are receptive to that and like they're like sick and some people are like what the fuck's wrong with you so like whatever you know if when I die I want my funeral to be the funniest thing in the world I want it to be goddamn like skit show up on that stage with my dead body. I want you guys to like prop it up and do some weird shit with it. I'll be the like, puppet. Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but like, <laughs> I understand if you don't want that. Like, I'll try to be respectful. <laughs> but like, man, if there's a funny joke that pops in, I'm, I, I ain't gonna be upset. Over. Yeah, that's that's, and I kind of see that to a point. Is I hope that me passing away. Obviously, it's going to be sad for people, mm-hmm. but I hope that that's not the only thing people take away from it. Like I hope some people get some joy and, and some fun from right. celebrating my life in a sense. So I totally hear you on that one. I would think uh, most but, people would want that. Like I, I would right? rather have a bunch of people like remembering me in a happy way than just sitting there just being sad. Like nobody wants their family to be sad. So like I'll try to have a good time at my funeral. I'll say it right now. You know, I'll write it down. Someone. I don't know. I'll tell my kids when I have them. Be like, hey. When, when your dad dies, just make sure it's fun. You know, buy a bunch of booze for everybody. I don't know. Open, open. <laughs> Get everyone hammered. Open um, casket, open bar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Put mini liquor bottles around my corpse so people can just go up right. and grab it off ice. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, I, that, that reminds me because I, when I – so my probably my closest thing would be my grandfather that passed away. And, and that tattoo on my arm there that you'll be able to st- see on stream there is, mm-hmm. is probably the – is, is one that, that I got from a paper airplane for because we always used to throw airplanes off his back deck and it's something that was special to me. But I remember sitting at his funeral and hearing a story about how my grandfather was like such a crazy driver and it had the whole amphitheater laughing that we were like hosting in early. I, I thought it was right. It was a church, but like the way it was yeah. set up was kind of like there was, it was quite long. It didn't feel like a church where it was like just a rose. It was like big. Um, and I remember everyone laughing and I was like, Damn, as a kid, I never realized how crazy of a driver my grandfather was because I was just yeah. a child. But apparently everyone else did. Like, everyone else realized that he was a bit of a lead foot, which is, I just kind of thought was funny. Yeah. And then going back to the, the whole movie thing, um, just because I, I thought it was going to be the one you were going to say because it's the one that everyone says, how is that a family movie? And I still don't understand how it is. Marley and Me. Have you watched that movie? I have. Yes. That is heart wrenching. I, I knew what was going on, but yeah, it was still the worst. Um, yeah. Now that you said that, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do remember. Um, I'm not even going to say the movie name, but um, a movie that was like, kind of actiony, and there was a dog throughout it, and just like three quarters of the way through, they needed like a big, like tense moment with some sadness, so they had like the bad guy kill the dog, and I'm just like. Yeah, that made me very John sad. And cry, but like, <laughs> now I don't even like this movie. Like, some sometimes you just don't have to do that. I mean, Marley and Me is a different story. It's about the dog. It's about the dog's life and death. You're like, I get it. Right. But where this was just so like, we need a cheap, sad scene. Uh, how about this guy has a dog throughout the whole movie, loves his dog, and it's not really integral to the movie. But then we kill it. Like, I had to watch this guy drown a dog. I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. I, I don't want to watch that. Hi, Bruno. No, by the way, welcome to the no, chat. Like, payoff like there was there was no reason for it so i'm just like don't kill dogs in your movies unless like it really matters it seems like a really cheap i mean i is there the same thing with like i don't even want to say the word but like bad sexual assault you know like they they throw that into movies so often where it's just like this is going to be the horrific thing it's just like there was no real reason for it i, I often there's they, it could be replaced with something else and i don't think it's a good storytelling device 90 percent of the time something like just trigger off your audience uh yeah yeah, it's just like okay how how are we gonna make the audience sad how are we gonna make them connect and feel emotions like let's just kill a dog let's just let's just horribly fuck up some like poor woman like great like that you couldn't have like done something that like emotionally connected like actually had a build up and a payoff you just went for a cheap shot goddamn hollywood Right. Leave my dogs alone. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking there's so many movies that I can think of that actually like that just goes and kill the dog off like in the middle of the movie. It's like why? Like you didn't need to do that. Like yes, okay, it makes people sad and yes, you want to invoke emotion. But there's 
there's different ways you can do it. And I think mm. Marley Me does it well because you're literally yeah. just saying, like, I just love the dog. He's like yeah. mine. Like, and like, that was me every single time. Like I, I purposely avoid that movie now because every single time I'm just a freaking mess and it's, mm-hmm. it, it's not fun. No one, no one needs to see that. Like, and I can get that other ways. And I mean, if I need a good cry, then I don't, at least I don't, like you said, have to kill a relative. Now I can just go watch Marley and Me. <laughs> All right. right. Um, uh, which, which is always, uh, a uh, bueno. Um, but yeah, so I, I think as far as that, that's that's yeah. Is no, that there's the saddest movie that you can think of. Is is that like if I were to ask you, what's the saddest movie of all time? Would you say Marley and Me? Um, let me think about it. I don't. Uh-huh. Now I'm putting you in the hot seat because I will tell you right? two that no, I think are technically, in my opinion, sadder. One of them is called My Girl. Um, has Macaulay Culkin in it. Uh, when he was like a child back in like Home Alone esque time. Um has one of the saddest scenes of all time makes me cry literally every time and then a, a smaller movie called odd thomas um it is so good it the movie is fantastic it's not just the one really sad scene that makes me cry every time the whole movie is just like a good action like mystery drama it's so fantastic i highly recommend it but there's a scene in that movie that fucking caught me so off guard that I just I, I just lost it. That's that's the real tears. That's the real me ball into a movie kind of thing. Odd Thomas looking it up. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna cry right I'm now. I'm thinking sure. that might that might be one of the Sorry, I'm trying I'm like I'm like digging deep into my the back of my head to see if I can yeah. find anything. So the thing first off, I don't my typical movies that I'm watching is usually a comedy. That's usually the go to. Mm-hmm. Second from that would be, uh, it kind of floats around action sometimes, sure. and then slash drama. However, there's a couple of aspects that I should add on to this too. Is first, I went to, I went to film school when I nice. ran out of high school. I did drop out, so I didn't didn't yeah, do anything what, with that's it. That's what you do in film school. Yeah, you did the right thing. Right. Um, Part of the cu- curriculum is just like, okay, you take uh, like at least a semester, and then you drop out. Okay. That's what I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so the thing is, is I did learn a lot about that. And I think things that I, I, I can, I watch movies different and I can see what angles are bringing up to certain things and things like that. And so like, if I, if I start watching a movie and there might be a good movie, but if I start watching and I start picking out parts of it, I can't stop. And so I'm like, I need to just turn off the movie and just watch something else. Yeah. And so that's why I like, I like comedies is because they're, sometimes they're so stupid that it keeps me occupied and I don't realize I don't like connect with these little like parts of it. But there's so many pieces of movies that I, I, I see parts of that I, I just – I can't do it. And so Marley and Me is one that I watched way before I went to – and a couple times before I went to a film school. So it's things that I never did. I'm, I mean mm-hmm. now I'm scared to watch Marley and Me because maybe I'll pick it apart and maybe I won't be crying at the end of it because I'll be yeah. too busy ana- analyzing it. So I think, oh. yes, it probably would be. Um, there's TV shows that have been – had me upset, but – yeah over analyzing movies is a curse yeah. it is a curse right? i'm telling you like i i start, i haven't gotten to film school but like i've watched enough movies to like kind of become that like oh i'm snobby i uh i know what i'm talking about type of thing sometimes and like i hate it because i'm just like i just want to enjoy the movie but i'm just like thinking too much and it's not on purpose <laughs> as an over analyzer can i give you one thing that will <laughs> what you could probably po- point out in every movie yeah it's one of the things that I found probably most fascinating at film school. If something happens, like a, a quirky thing that happens once and then twice in a movie, mm-hmm. always the third time it happens will have a huge effect on a movie. So let's say this character loves your the Arizona um, things that you had, like the Arizona RX that you like. Yeah. So let's say they crack one open, they drink it and stuff like that. And you don't, it doesn't really seem like anything the first time because they're just having one. They're, hey, you want one with like a buddy? And then the second time they go to a thing and they go and they purposely put in the line, hey, can I get an Arizona RX? The third time that they that comes up, something's going to change in the plot line in some sort of effect. Mm. And so if you see something twice, it's always a cue that the, you're going to see it one more time and it's going to change something drastically in the story. It, does, it doesn't have to be in every story, but it's very commonly used because it's, it's something to align you with that character and kind of give a personality trait to it. And it's something that I cannot unsee in a lot of shows and movies and it drives me crazy. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, great. So have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I, watch movies. I love it. 
right? There, yeah. I, I mean, I could I could talk about a lot of movies for a while, yeah. um, but I, 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 think, I think I think we should I think should, I think should, I'm here to interview you and not interview about all the movies you have watched yeah. in the past in your lifetime. So so let's go to the basement, and that's what I do. So. Do you really? Yeah, it's it's like an unfinished awesome. basement, but like I put like a giant love sack beanbag down there, and like a mattress. that's like. Uh, then you got that money damn <laughs> no it, it's it's pieced together but i love it i love it love it <sighs> love zacks are awesome come on by over the way. Bro, anytime sounds good what, once this covid thing stops i'm i'm i swear i'm doing a a trip and we're gonna like I'm, i swear i'm gonna do like some sort of like live podcast and i'm gonna go see Hell cj yeah. i'm coming over to see you gotta see if kyle's still in the chat i gotta go see kyle i'm gonna be doing like a whole whole u.s uh road trip here in the next couple of years i swear take a Hell year yeah. off work and just be like <laughs> i'm going traveling go see all the homies yeah. um what social stigma does society need to get over what social stigma society need to get over God, yeah. there's so many of them um, right I agree. Uh, one that's like close to me would be like gender roles and just gender in general um i think that that shit is it, it's people take it very seriously um and it's all about goddamn what's in somebody's pants it's never about anything else um so that the stigma around T- talking about that or even just being open to that it just it bugs me so like i'm in a band so um the vocalist of my band is a trans woman um there's a lot of trans people in my life and i i don't mm-hmm. i guess i don't really know why i just run in those those kinds of circles uh but that's all right that's uh that's i mean that's a big thing to me and it's just like people just don't get it and even well-meaning people don't get it and they don't have to like fully get it but it's just like well they just care about what's in somebody's pants like as far as totally. you know like, yeah. like kind of weird I, my my pronouns are he him i everybody like as far as they know they i'm a guy what if i have a vagina why does that matter to somebody like so much yeah. and they don't ask me because like i look like a dude i have a full ass beard i look like a dude but if somebody doesn't come up to me like are you a dude it's like no cuz i i'm a i'm male passing like i look like a dude they don't ask me what's in my pants but as soon as you're not sure about somebody's gender or if if especially when they're transitioning and they're not there they're you know apprehensive or like they're like no i don't think so it's like what why do you know what's what's in my you know do, do i have a dick <laughs> do you care if i have a dick like it, it's interesting i love i love when you know people are fully transitioned and you you could never tell that they were another gender at any point in their life and they can just fucking slam dunk on people and be like go fuck yourself you you think a dude like you think a dude with a vagina is hot or you think a chick with a dick is hot and you didn't know (laughs) because it didn't matter until you did know you know so it's like unless you're trying to sleep with that person and you're in an intimate relationship where it's about to be sexual that shit doesn't matter it does not matter what's in somebody's pants no stop fucking worrying about it um yeah. yeah, I think obviously I'm worked up, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. I th- I think there's a couple, and, and there's a there's a lot I want to there's a lot I would I could add to say to that, mm-hmm. but I also don't want to go on for too long okay. <laughs> about this. Uh, first off, Donovan, yes, I will be coming to see you too. Don't worry, you're on that road trip too. Um, but, but I we'll think we'll be checking your pants. What's in there? What's in there, Donovan? <laughs> we need to know. We don't care what you're gold coins and need to know your genitals. Size and everything. Any 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 gold coins down there? Um, no. <laughs> what's it called? But I think I think yeah, like I a lot of people don't get it, and I don't think that's a good enough excuse in my opinion. Mm-hmm. He said not much. <laughs> yeah. um, but I I think as the as people kind of become more open and become and talk about it more and and ask questions like this like like Mm -hmm. and and are open format like this and where i i mean you could have said anything and that's the thing you chose and that's totally fine Mm -hmm. um but i think a lot of people don't understand that a lot of people don't say it because they're struggling to say it to family say it to friends they don't want to be Mm -hmm. scared i guess would be the best way to put it and and that's so sad because i've like someone me who's never had to worry about my sexuality or never have to think about my gender or things like that 
I don't know if the, the word's fortunate, but I, I feel in a sense that I haven't had to deal with struggles that people might have to deal with just because they are living in a body that they don't feel comfortable in. And I don't think that's, that sucks because, and, and why, who, who am I or anyone else to be, to belittle someone because they don't feel right in their thing. They're already struggling enough. Why am, what, what may give me any right to be even more of an asshole right. when it comes to that. And that's kind of where I sit on that. And I really mean, that's affect you at all. Like, no, not at all. And that goes for most things. Like, mm-hmm. like, and, that, and that's why I'm like, I don't get pe- why people are like, so like, racist about things and so worried about like lgbtq plus um rights it's like what does it fucking matter like yeah, yeah. it's not gonna affect you it's not like they're trying to like if, if it if it if it negatively affected someone okay i get it i totally understand that part of it if it negatively affects mm-hmm. someone else okay yes that's a different story but when it has no effect at all on someone else let people just be happy. There's, it's not hurting anyone. Like, it's not gonna, yeah. not gonna do anything to anyone. So why, why would that? So I'm gonna bring up, yeah, go for it. Uh, all, all I was gonna say is, it's just crazy that not that long ago, gay people could not get married. Like, like that's not like ancient crazy. history. That's not like something you read in like history books. Like, oh, do you remember way back in the early 1800s when gay people could get married? It's just like. Yeah, just a couple handful of years ago, just gay people just yeah. couldn't get married because I don't Remember know why. in 2010 when... <laughs> yeah. 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 It's wild. It's crazy. It's... Like, that feels yeah. like, like when, when it's put in perspective, like, how long ago slavery was legal, and you're like, oh, wow, that feels like, because we learned it as kids and we learned about it, like, as history, like, it feels like it was, like, forever ago. But it really wasn't. Like, mm-hmm. when that shit's put into perspective, it's just like, well, it's crazy. But then, like, gay people not being able to be married was, like, back when I was in high school. Like, what the fuck? Mm. And that goes right back into us being destructive. We're just full of hate all the time. It's true. And that, yeah. Um, I think, too, is I think also, and I hope, I hope this is kind of what we're going to, is is I remember, like, going back to kind of a 2010 thing, is coming out videos on YouTube were, like, the big thing. Like, when someone yeah. came out, everyone's like, oh, my God, I never knew, and stuff like that. And, and it's, I, I hope it gets to the point, and I don't want this to come off as, like, in a wrong way, but I hope it comes to the point where, coming out isn't a big deal for anyone. I hope that it's people, it's mm-hmm. just basically like, oh, like, okay. So I think like, that's that's what you identify as great. And I think we're headed there, which is great, but I know we're not there yet. And right. that's that's where I'm kind of like, it's it's so backwards. And by mm-hmm. no means am I qualified to talk about really any of this. <laughs> I'm just saying my, my right. p- opinion for myself, um, because I, I'm not someone who is like, obviously I'm someone who would be, what's the word, I guess, a- alliance? Would that be the word for it, I guess? Someone yeah. who... An ally supports yeah. and yeah, an ally and someone who supports it. But I'm not like I speak for any sort of movement in that sense. I'm sure. just someone who who definitely sees, says go for it. Why not? And especially towards um, generals, go for it. You mean like is as long as you are happy in your body and you're doing something that makes you happy and it doesn't affect anyone, go for mm-hmm. it. I'm I'm all game for it. Yeah. Um, just looking at too. Sorry, that water bottle you have. I think I have the same. I think I have the same one. Is it a humongous water bottle? Or is it kind of yep. small? It says like good morning on it and like. Keep going. Okay, don't have the same one. Okay, it's it's six. But that's pretty cool. Four ounces, and it's like it's supposed to be your water intake for the day. And I think that the words on the side are really cheesy. Keep going, feeling awesome. But like, I also couldn't find a water bottle this big, so like, I, okay, I so guess I'll same. go with the go with the, uh, <laughs> the cheesy inspiration. Hydrate yourself. Okay. So I have one that's exactly. Water. Exactly this, like very close to the same. Give me, actually, one second. I'm gonna go grab it now because I, I have to show you because it's kind of funny. Okay. This is very important stuff here. We I got water bottle comparisons only on totally, Brengra. totally. <laughs> Brengra. Okay, so that's mine. My next looks a little. Well, Are we comparing sizes now? Stream. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is that? It's got to uh, be like sixty-four ounces, I assume. I, I, I think it's. We have the same type of bigger. straw thing. It doesn't like come out, right? It right, just... right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little pop up. That's what. That's what I noticed. I was like, oh, like we have the same one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, mine. Mine just has like the milliliters, which is Canadian ounces. So, <laughs> oh, two thousand. It, it is three thousand. Whoa! Yeah, from gender issues, from gender issues to water bottles, the most important things. <laughs> how many dicks yeah, that, can I fit? How many women with dicks can I fit in here? Oh my God! Thing to ask, really. I, I knew you'd appreciate that one, Donovan. Considering the last things, I, I've had some some funny, funny 
Canadian slash uh, American conversations with uh, Donovan and CJ in the past. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave, we'll leave that for now. That might that might that might be the one that gets me canceled. So going back from a little uh, stepping back a little bit here. What helps? So I actually asked this on my Discord. If you guys aren't in it, exclamation mark Discord, please join. We ask uh, questions. There's a lot of chill people, a lot of people hanging out. Sam's actually there too. He's been chilling there for a minute, uh, hanging out. Mm -hmm. He will be, as of today, inaugurated, I guess would be the word, into the uh, house guests um, as well too. Um, without where all the other house guests will be hanging out too. So you'll be at the very top, well, underneath me, but very top of the, the uh, Discord's uh, side there. Um, One day. One so you'll day see I'll whenever get up he's. To your level. <laughs> so you can see at the very top too. If you also put exclamation mark guest, that's all of um, Sam's stuff and where you can find him in his Discord as well. Mm. So if you want to join his, feel free to as well. Um, he has a, a quite a quite an active Discord from what I've seen. Um, as well and i totally drawing a blank to what i was gonna say <laughs> but oh i know what it was is what helps you relax or decompress that's what i was gonna say relax or decompress um man movies is a big is a big one um and popcorn is, is very vital to my movie going experience by the way um big know, popcorn guy here. weed um <laughs> only when i'm alone um, cause I get fucking, I have no tolerance for that kind of shit. So like I take like a rip and I'm just fucking done for the night. Um, at least you know, um, other than that, I mean, honestly, just petting Mabel, just laying with Mabel. She's kind of, she can be a very lazy dog at points. Uh, and that helps me out a lot. Sometimes I just want to go home and lay down and just have maybe YouTube on my phone and just lay with my dog. And she hears me talking about her. That's should, should, I, should I put her on the camera? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. You need to now. Mabel, what you thinking Hi, over there? Mabel. You're looking pretty darn cute. Aww. You're looking pretty darn cute. Anyway, don't look at my what mess. kind of dog is Mabel? She's a mutt. She's a Cocker Spaniel Lab Pit Boxer mix. I don't know. It's farm dog. I, say, I, see, I, I see Boxer. I see a little bit in there, but okay. Yeah, yeah. She's very, very cute. American born and bred. Um... <laughs> yeah that, i mean that's how i would mostly relax i like i live alone and i very much prefer to live alone i pay more than i probably should because if i had a roommate everything would be so much cheaper but i love just being alone get naked and watch a movie in my theater you know <laughs> poor <It's>, mabel <laughs> what, you know, she's naked all the time okay i can be naked sometimes too um i don't know i i don't I don't do much other than that. I mean, that's that's how I decompress if I need to. It's just a lot of times, honestly, going to a theater helps me decompress as well because I don't have to worry about anything. And half the time I have an entire theater to myself because I go see movies nobody else wants to see. Uh, so that's kind of nice. But I've never done that, but I've heard that's very, like, serene. It's a very... I thought it was weird at first and I started working at a theater and I saw a lot of people doing it a lot of people going to see movies by themselves and then I got free movies obviously so I would just like go see one after my shift and yes it, I prefer it like oh yeah I'll bring a friend to a movie sure but I prefer going alone I love it so much um, mm -hmm. and seriously I have the theater to myself like 80% of the time I went and saw Raya and the Last Dragon the new Disney movie I saw it on mm. opening night at 8pm knowing that there'd be hardly any kids in there at 8 p.m. I was in the IMAX showing by myself. Just had the perfect seat right in the middle in row D that I love. Oh, man. <laughs> I was just, I was living. Had popcorn. I had candy. I had soda. I was getting fat and happy. My God. Serene. Row D kind of guy. Oh, yes, dude. Row D. It's, it's just the one right past where the aisle is. You know, if it's a big screen, they usually have three rows in the front nobody sits in the front nobody would that next row back mm, that's pristine, that'd be kinda, my friend that'd be kind of interesting to see in, in at the end of covid like how theaters if it goes back to kind of being full theaters or if it's kind of if it's, like it's gonna be did, rough it's gonna be interesting and it's it's like it, it it'll be weird because how like how many people can say they they've gone to a date in a movie theater 
like a lot of people usually will say like mm-hmm. that or, or or maybe not even that if you want to even take out the relationship part of it is have you gone in with friends and gone and seen a movie because there's there's so many people that can also relate to that as well mm-hmm. um that's just so weird because I, like when I, I haven't been to a movie theater since covid started yeah. but i think with the um with now is is i know there's been friends that i have that have gone to the theaters and safely done all that stuff um and it's from what i've heard is very empty which mm-hmm. is scary for the businesses but also makes sense because of what's going on in the world yeah um, it's awful what's happened i mean like so many of them like smaller chains or just like standalone theaters are like all closing because a they couldn't be open and b when they could open there's no good movies like studios aren't putting out movies because they know they're gonna flop it's hard so they have yeah. to wait so james bond fast and furious like the big blockbusters for the summer all aren't getting put out and then warner brothers says hey we're gonna take all of our movies and put them on hbo max they gave us a dick load of money so we're gonna do that further killing theaters like theaters are gonna have such a rough time trying to get to the point where they can open at 100 percent capacity again i don't think most of them will make it i i think this is this is the shift to streaming just like how cable died because of streaming this is the shift because of COVID. it's accelerated movie theaters dying and streaming becoming a new thing. We're just becoming the humans from Wally faster and faster every goddamn day. <laughs> Top Gun Two, Maverick. Oh, yeah, that one's that one's coming up. Yeah, and the, um, maybe. My, so, 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 yeah, 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 right. My, mine is the Free Guy, the Ryan Reynolds one that they yes. that he's he's doing. That looks yes. really good. As a and gamer, I hope, like, comes yes. out. Looks right. So great. See, because oh. there's not many there's not many movies that well. Um, align gamers. So I don't know if you've ever seen the actual movie called The Gamer. Have you ever watched that? With uh, um, yes. I think, of, I think of the name. Um, name. I know the character's name. The name is the character's name is Cable. I don't know the actual. I he's a famous oh, really? actor though. Yeah. Um, name is from Three Hundred. He's have, yes. Yep. Come on, Mr. Tough Guy. I don't want to look it up because I want to be proud of myself right? for knowing things. God damn it! No, I don't got it. Chat. Who knows it? Anyone know who who's in who's who plays Cable in f- the Gamer? Because that I will probably crash my computer trying to search that because <laughs> of how terrible my computer is. Um, but yeah, that that's one of the probably the it's it's another movie that's it's not perfectly, but it's well kind of associated with Gamer and also also kind of like the esports kind of community and how people kind of see esports gaming because like the kid is up and's like oh my god he's like fr-, like freaking out about him and people are kind of like oh this is like like from like an outsider you're kind of like that's kind of weird but like if you see what's happening with e-gaming or e-sports yeah it's kind of what's happening like everyone's everyone freaking out over it's over huge people in a sense. It esports is. are it is. huge it's nuts gerard butler thank you mom thank you uh, thank you jesus i, I, I can't crazy if i didn't anyway so right um, right and he's like <laughs> named like 20 of his movies probably but like i just couldn't get his name um <laughs> exactly i like i like movies where like they bring in it's elements true. of video games like maybe it's not about video games specifically but like uh scott pilgrim totally. the world is one of the best movies Ooh. of all time that's a really uh, good one too yes your 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 headband reminds me of that that's that's what it yeah. reminds you of is that is the headband is the, the lettering kind of looks kind of similar to what he has in that movie it's steven universe based but i can see it yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen Steven Universe. Fantastic show. I don't think I have. I'm gonna write that down. So Steven Universe. Mm-hmm. It's a Cartoon Network show. Um, I will. Yeah, I heard sports. you talk about. I heard mm-hmm. you talk about um, the. You were talking last stream actually. Uh, when I popped on, you're playing Free Guy. Uh, it's Fall Guys. Oh my goodness! I'm talking. Yeah. About, I'm thinking yep. of the, the movie now. Um, and you talked about. You said what your best your favorite show was and gravity falls i think was the one you said yeah so my my i they said my favorite show's steven universe however Correct. it's less palatable than my probably second favorite show which is gravity falls so if you're asking me what my favorite show is it's steven universe if you're asking me what show i recommend to anybody it's gravity falls and donovan season 5 of steven universe is insane it is worth Every moment of your time, it is built up to the most fantastic season finale, which is like this big, long special. And then the movie, which is also like kind of tacked on, but pretty good. Go watch it. Highly recommend. 
Uh, I'm but, definitely. I'm gonna have to because I'm. I'm. I'm getting close to the end of Superstore, which is the. Oh yeah. That movie that's popped on Netflix because I'm a comedy nerd. Yep. Um. And so that that was it. Kind of hit that spot and kind of how and have like, you seen? Uh, have you ever watched? I I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. I don't Gra- think. Gravity Falls. Explain a little bit. Like summarize it for me a little bit. Um. It. It's about two kids who go live with their great uncle in a town called Gravity Falls in Oregon. Um, okay, is it is it the is it it's like a animated thing from Disney, right? Or, or yeah, Disney XD. There's a poster right behind me of some kind of art from it. Okay, I thought it was. Okay, that's what. Okay, so I thought so, but I didn't know for sure. Okay, so yeah. Okay, all right. It's, you haven't seen it though. That you... I I've seen I I would have watched a glimpse of it when I was a kid. It's okay. not something that I would I've still watched. You need to watch the whole thing in succession. I promise you, it's worth every second. I named my dog after one of the main characters, Mabel. Yeah, Mabel's Hines. Mabel's the the girl, right? The yep. she's the female in the in the, of the the siblings, right? They're siblings, yep. correct? Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I would have watched that. So now, okay, so maybe maybe also because I was a kid, maybe I didn't get parts of it. So maybe I'll have to go watch it and go see what see what I, I've missed. Watch it from the beginning. It is, oh my god, I can't say enough good is things it... about it. It's perfect. Is the character behind you kind of supposed to look like one of the characters there? That's up top uh, above you? That is Steven from Steven Universe holding what is kind okay. of the Infinity Gauntlet, but instead of Infinity Stones from Marvel, you know, uh, it's the yep. gems from Steven Universe. Uh, yeah. You enjoy the new show, okay. The Great White, The Great North, with Nick Offerman and Megan Mullaney. I do like, I like Nick Offerman. Nice. He's great. Sorry? Yeah. Nick Offerman, he's fantastic. He is, yes. Um... Next question for you. Yes. Going on to, from that, I yeah, I, I we're gonna have to off stream talk a whole lot more about like shows and movies because I, I yeah, gotta get yeah. your your list of, list of things because oh my yeah I I'm running out of of things to watch and so and I, you seem to have quite a good idea of things to watch that would probably relate a little bit more to me so I'm for just sure. don't give me any movies that's gonna make me watch a dog get popped in the middle of this show right yeah no no no, no for sure <laughs> bye Donovan see you, Donovan thanks for popping in buddy appreciate it. Um, what are you most proud of in life? And I guess most why I would be proud of in life. Yeah. Wow. What am I proud of? Hmm. I'm proud of nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> am, I, am I a proud person? I don't really know if I'm, I would characterize myself as proud um i'm proud of a few like you know achievements i've made in like band stuff you know like milestones i've made with my band i'm I'm proud of like albums that we've done um i'm proud of a couple things in my career that i've i've done um that would bore the shit out of everybody here um but like little things that i've I've done throughout that kind of stuff i I would say that uh you keep yourself and mabel alive yes you know i'm not really I don't need to be proud of that. I mean, I'm, that's the bare minimum. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, like, I, I feel like an immense amount of pride uh, with a lot of things. Um, not that I'm, like, a negative person. I just, I guess I don't, that's not, like, the, the typical emotion I would say that I have. I'm proud of my stream and, like, the community that we have. That's small and, and fun, but I'm proud of what we've done in that small amount of time, and I'm you know, I'm proud of Dif- building that kind of. I mean, somewhat. I, I guess I never really thought of it as pride, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I could. I guess that that would be kind of. As far as your 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 stream format, I think it is definitely something for you to be proud of in a sense. Like obviously, teach their own, and yeah. no one's gonna. I, I can't tell you what to be proud for, and, right, and vice right. versa. And there, there, it's not. It's, it's yes, okay, we can tell you to be, but it's not. It's not going to be as meaningful as it coming from your actual self. Right. I would say, I, mm-hmm. as far as your stream itself, it's definitely something that you should take pride in because I think that you put a lot of hard work into how you set up your stream. And it's for someone with your following, you've definitely got a head start on how you've set up your your stream and, and the integrations you put into it. So the one of my favorite things of your streams, as you've probably seen every single time I hop in, I, I try and guess them, is your guess the word ones. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. that that's probably one of the smartest things I think I've ever I've seen anyone do. And I haven't seen many other people doing that, like things like that. Mm-hmm. And using that to that kind of capacity 
and the way you engage with your chat in that sense is definitely interesting if you guys don't know what i'm talking about uh sam does this uh thing on his channel where you can guess letters every stream correct me if i'm wrong yep. and they will and eventually you can spell it words you cannot guess a vowel throughout the streams um and then if you get it right there will be a video that plays that he's assigned with that uh trigger command, command. Yep. And um, you can, and then you get a, basically a screen that pops up. And I think it's really creative and it's something that gets your chat to engage and get something to um, see. And something that's made me come back a bunch of times because I'm really interested in that yeah, now. And, love and then, it. I, I, then, then I hang out. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen people do it with, because um, bigger streamers have done it. I've seen other smaller streamers steal it, but they do it with bits. So like there's random secret mm -hmm. bit amounts. So if you donate the right amount, like something, you know, a different thing will happen. Like if you donate 420 bits, uh, it'll be like a funny little gif of uh, Snoop Dogg. Or if you donate mm -hmm. the secret number, that's correct. You get this and like people have to guess, but I didn't want it. It felt disingenuous sort of uh, like, especially if I'm having people guess. Um, so I wanted to have people. Yeah. Just, it's basically just a, a mass game of hangman that's very slow because one letter a stream um, and people like to guess and then when they get it awesome and then I can always literally just come up with new ones and it doesn't have to be like doesn't cost anybody anything but if the more interaction in chat the better um, oh totally people, people really like it um, and it's as simple as can be to set up um, and it is fun it's funny seeing what how people have guessed like there's like one letter in like a four letter word and they'll get it and I'm like how the hell well, then it's me. I, got, I got I got I got your I got your small one that you have on there which I thought was yeah I was like dick right dude I was I uh, <laughs> I was I was jumping up and down I was like oh my god like look I actually got something yeah. and I think I said to your chat I was like I never win anything <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah it's, like, it's fun I mean people like it I like it, it. um I just scroll through YouTube looking for funny little videos, so I'm probably plagiarizing the fuck out of things, but like, whatever. <laughs> whatever I mean, shit. worth it, right? Yeah. yeah, whatever. If you want, they want credit, I'll give it to them, you know? <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah, right? Um, this is one of the ones that's kind of, it's, it's going to be a little bit going off topic here a bit, but it, it's something that I, I, I haven't asked anyone yet, so I'm gonna you're going to be the first person I'm going to ask, because I think you have a quite a... a a wide variety of things that you do and watch and kind of um, are f a fan of, I guess, I guess would be the best way to put it. Um, if you could ask a single person one question and then answer truthfully, who and what would you ask? And they could be dead or alive if you'd like. Ooh. Okay. Oh man. That is, that is a big one. That there's so many options, right? There's so many I things know. I want to ask Donald Trump, that piece of shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just leave him alone, though. Um, <laughs> boy, oh boy. One thing I could ask anybody, they have to answer truthfully. Man. Hmm. Like, give me just, just give me two, give me two seconds. I got it. I got yeah, it. No, all good. I know there's so many things I can And in the meantime, while you guys are waiting for Sam to think of it, you guys can go to um his channel go follow him you can set off his lights would be really funny because then he's thinking and then you're gonna you're gonna distract him you could also follow him on twitter discord and go check out his his store and stuff like that uh, apparently i'm getting two headbands because i i got him past an hour already so <laughs> we're gonna keep going <laughs> uh okay i would ask there's so many things i'd like to ask robin williams so many That'd things. Be, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Uh, I would just love to have a conversation. I don't think I would know what specific question uh, to ask. So just go, I'm gonna I'm gonna riff here while you think here as well. Yeah. There's a story that I, that came out and it was a TikToker again. I don't know the person. I'm sorry. Um, and he was a driver for Robin Williams. Okay. And he asked. He asked. Or so what's it called? There was he was they were shooting a movie. And the guy was just doing it. He was, he was a, I think he was like, sorry, he was a driver for a movie set. And while on the movie set, the cast was, oh, I see a red screen there. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Whoop, Thanks, it's mom, the, for the, the police. <laughs> um, and we got a, and so they went to, so yeah, so they were supposed to, they were finishing off a scene. There was kind of like, they were cutting the scene. They were going, everyone was supposed to go back to the trailers and everyone was getting back in. Robin Williams gets in and, he said he was the nicest guy ever. Super sweet, the driver said. And he literally got in 
and everyone else was supposed to get in too, and the driver just drove off with just um, us. Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams, yes. I think I said okay. Steve Martin. I think I don't. <laughs> I don't point. I think because I, I for some reason I switched it in my head, um, and he just drove off, and the part of. And then he just he basically just looked at him and said, "Thank you." Oh, we got a lot of followers going over on your side. Let's go, keep it going, keep it rolling. Um, I appreciate it. The and and so from there they went and so yeah, he just drove off and he he just said thank you to the driver and and he's and I don't know like it's one of those things that like he was always so on and I think not many people got to see him kind of just be off and I think it was one of those yeah. cool stories that. When you when you you have to be a personality, and I think he was so stuck in that personality of just having to be that super awesome guy that he really truly was, but everyone has their down days, right? There's no not no person no person is perfect, and and people are gonna have their off days regardless. And the kind of the the relief that that driver saw in in Robin Williams was just uh, just one of those cool stories that you don't hear from many people. Yeah. So so who, who's your person? Have you have you found out yet? Okay, it's gotta be Trump. It's gotta be Trump. Okay. Okay, just Keep in mind, <laughs> let's 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 hang hang on bef- before we start this. Yeah. Let's try not to get too political. That's all I'm going to ask. Yeah, no, That's I the one it. thing I will ask. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry if there's any QAnoners in here, but I watched a documentary today about QAnon. I need to know: Does he know who Q is? I wish he. I wish I could make him expound upon the answer as well. But, but who is Q? How about that? And if he doesn't know, then he says he doesn't know. But who is Q? I don't know if you looked into this shit at all, but it's wild. And it kind of freaked me <laughs> the fuck out. These people believe, like, Hollywood elites are eating babies and stuff. And Donald Trump is, like, secretly telling them all these messages, like, under the table. And, like, if you believe that, sure, I guess whatever. Just don't be don't be su- super freaky. But <laughs> it's so wild, dude. It, it, like, dude, there's some fucking deep shit going on in there. And people There's are like, so many this rabbit is holes all a conspiracy. And like, yeah. And it, it's it's kind of compelling some of the shit they're saying. They're like, Donald Trump said these these words, but it was a few days after Q had posted online these weird these weird things. And there could not be a coincidence that he said those exact words. And I'm like, ooh, compelling. He must know something. Or maybe he's just going along with the meme. I don't know, but it's kind of scary. Who the fuck is it, bro? It's like some like, like anonymous, like goddamn V for Vendetta shit going on. Bro. <laughs> you're lucky you're Canadian. It's scary out in here. Yeah. I, yes, I will say yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was, I, I'm not gonna gonna fight you on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. As far as I, I haven't gotten too much of that, but I will I'm gonna bring it bring it to more of like a conspiracy side of it. There's so many conspiracies, and they they don't even have to be real, but some of them are very interesting. Like sometimes like, when they the make th- a good point, I'm just like, "Oh damn, did we land on the moon?" <laughs> if you're flat, I don't know. Oh maybe. no. Who knows? Oh no. I, I can't prove anything. I'm just listening to reason. But then when the other side has a little bit of reason, I'm just like, "Oh, but what if?" Mm. But what if? Hmm. What if Avatar Two is completely run by the deep state? I don't know. Maybe we're never gonna get the movie. Maybe we will. Right? Okay, really? that's, that's a movie that needs to come out. We're going to take a quick little break here. I hope you guys all, all hang out. In the meantime, if you haven't already followed Sam, I would suggest going to follow Sam. We're going to take probably a one-minute break or so um, just to fill up the water, and then we'll be right back. Um, stay tuned. Go get yourself some water. Go get yourself a drink. Um, in the water. words of CJ, go get yourself some tea, some hot tea, because you deserve it. Um, I don't know if he's still here though, but <laughs> Donovan will, Donovan's here. I'm pretty sure still. So which is which is which, what's up? Um, but yeah, we'll be right back and we'll talk in a second. See you guys soon. Zucchini. That just touches close to home. <laughs> <laughs> and applesauce. <laughs> it's the worst dessert possible. You're just making up. This is part four of asking streamers. What's the best advice you've ever received? Here's what they said the single best piece of advice you ever received whoa and it's crazy it is crazy bren is bringing out the sentimental in me (laughs) but it'd be get to know yourself first and i know that sounds really 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 simple but you go deep diving into it someone said that to me when it was really 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 important i'm not entirely comfortable getting super into detail but it was right around when um i found out that queen deviant herself 
was pregnant and I was really, really having a rough time. Freaking out, you know, new dad feelings. I was questioning the way I was going about things and whether I would inadvertently kind of like fuck up my child because I dealt with a lot of shit growing up. Try to know yourself like you would someone you were, you're falling in love with. Know yourself first. Everything else will figure itself the fuck out. Know yourself first. Are people going to understand? Are people going to watch? Does anyone care? You must be crazy. Am I crazy for doing this? No one's going to watch people this. Gonna understand? Why would you even think of it? I just don't do it. Must be crazy. Does anyone care? Who cares? What if it doesn't work? Why? Are people Why? Gonna Why? Crazy Why? No one's going to watch Why? this. Why? Welcome to my Twitch stream. I've been asking streamers what's the best advice they've ever received. And here's what they told me. What is the single best piece of advice I've ever received? Somebody just put like life into uh, a bigger perspective for me. So they're like, listen, your 20s are a very small part of your life. Risk a lot of things in order to make the rest of your life better. So my thing was like, I'm just going to try a bunch of shit, risk a bunch of money even. Like I float of money into crypto. It's doing great now. I'm happy about that. Um, that's a big risk that I probably wouldn't take if I had a family and children and things like that. But in my 20s, I can do it. I can lose all my money tomorrow and I have a job. I'll be fine. But if I have kids, I can't be risking shit like that. So just take risks while you're young. It's the biggest, best piece of advice I've ever received. So don't have kids. Got it. All right. We're back. Welcome back. Thank you to everyone who stayed. Hope you guys enjoyed the TikToks. I hope that's working. I don't know if that's working. I, I've got a couple questions for you. First thing, when we took the break, you got up and went and got a drink as well. Uh, and also you got pizza. Yes. I'm jealous. Um, I saw, I, so, right behind you, there's a hat. And is that a mirror behind you? Uh, mirror? No, there's no mirror. What is that? What's directly behind you there? What is that? Is that a lamp? What is that? Yeah, there's a lamp right here. Oh, Okay. The way it looked, and then seeing the little thing in the bottom corner, what is that? A, is that the A L E X A? <laughs> oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. So I saw that, and I couldn't figure out what that was at first, and so I thought it was. I thought it was a reflection of an iPad sitting in front of you. So that's what I was kind of like. Um, that's what I was. I was. That's what I thought I saw. Um, enjoyed listening to Randy's advice. It was the best. I agree. Randy's is one of the best. I'm trying to get him on here. I hope Randy's been hanging out. I, I don't. I haven't seen him in a little. I haven't talked to him in a little while. But we we hope he he's all good and comes and hangs out. There's a lot of a lot of fans of Randy and, and um that that come and hang out usually. Finn, if he's still in here, is is definitely a a big Randy fan. He knows Randy really well. Uh, I think he even has Randy's um, sweater too, which is awesome. Brandon, I need. What did I used to tell you every day before you? Uh, left for work she, she my mom used to say don't let the effers get you down i mean that's a pretty good that's a pretty good part of advice and she would say it every single day as i'm walking out the door she'd be like all right bye i love you don't let the effers get you down and it's, it was one of those things that kind of became like a thing it was kind of funny um yeah so uh getting into these questions we're gonna start getting a little bit deeper so uh oh, wait, I hope you're, wait, you... wait wait i i can't go on without the pizza pop thing oh that's right you you promised That's me. right. Thank you for reminding me. So yeah, I need to know. Uh, on the on the break, I said I said to Sam, I was like, I'm really hungry, and so I said after this, I'm probably going to get pizza pops. And he goes, What's a pizza pop? And I actually have another story actually on this as well, going on to this further. Please. But first off, pizza pops are like these like uh, I think it's uh, it's kind of like a hot pocket in a sense. If you know, do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, it's basically, it's it's essentially just like like a little like pizza burrito i guess would be the best way to put it you have pizza rolls where you're at uh i wouldn't say they're pizza rolls i mean they're, they're bigger than pizza rolls let me just go grab one one sec <laughs> uh, i've never heard it must be the brand name or maybe that's what they call them i i think it is a brand name yes so i gotta put this back in my freezer too or they're gonna go bad because by the time of this <laughs> but this is a pizza this is this is a pizza pop if you got the stream open there um, it is basically like a little burrito oh, thing. Yeah. Hot pockets like were hot invented pocket. to burn. Hot pockets are just were were invented to just burn the roof of your mouth. I'm convinced. You're probably right, Brandon. Nice to see you in chat too. By the way, strong. <laughs> you don't have Wait, one second. Roll? I'm gonna put this back. Okay. Um, I'm sure we have pizza rolls. I just I, I don't have them in my freezer. <laughs> yeah, pizza pops brand name. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Who knew? What's up, strong arm? Are you from yeah. Canada and you have pizza pops? 
I Are don't you... believe he is from Canada. I don't think he is. But do you have pizza pops? That's a great question. Yeah. What if I... Minnesota is the only place you don't that doesn't have pizza pops? What if okay. your house is the only place that doesn't have pizza pops? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, well, in Minnesota, we have what's called hot dish. And I did not know growing up that everyone else didn't have hot dish. Um, but, oh, can't use foul language, streamlabs. What, um, what happened? What did you, what did you say? I didn't even see this. He probably said, fuck pizza pops. <laughs> 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 but, uh, so we I didn't even, I, it didn't even show me. It just timed him out for it. I don't even know how yeah, that happened. Just... Streamlabs is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but right. apparently, so you know what casserole is, right? Yeah. I mean, just, it's a basic name for dishes that could be in any form, right. I suppose. Yep. But that's, yep. we have hot dish. It's, it's essentially the same thing, but I didn't know it was just a Minnesota thing. So like. We go somewhere else, like, what's hot dish? Tater tot hot dish? Green bean hot dish? Like, it's just hot dish. I don't know. It's just, that's what we have. And apparently that's literally just a Minnesota thing. I went to Wisconsin and asked somebody right next to us. Nope. They had no idea. No idea what hot dish is. I have, I, there, yeah, there's, there's, I have so many, like, funny stories. And I, I hope Kyle's still in here. I don't know if he is because I know he, he lives a very busy life, that man. But um, Kyle and I have done have gone through this thing where we went through uh, terms that were uh, that are Canadian based or like like phrases, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm we're not gonna do it on stream, but I'm I'm more than welcome to do it with you after stream if you'd like, and we can, <laughs> we can hop in the Discord and get a couple of people if they want to try and see if they want to answer. We can do a little quiz time, but um, there was a um, it's basically like all these terms that like Canadians use that Americans don't commonly know and it's yeah. pretty funny to see, always see people's answers to them it's just one of those really funny ones or no yeah yeah mm. that's one of the questions actually funny enough yeah I, I i know that from like a youtube video but we don't call them that yeah. here not commonly the people who smoke a lot usually call it darts and like okay. usually like line chefs <laughs> be the ones you hear call it a dart but they think like can i boop a dart um but yeah like we still call it cigarettes too it's, that's not that uncommon um Let's see. What do I have here? What do I have here? Oh, so this is a good one. Deep, so sorry. For yeah, we're, we're, one we're getting all oh, so good. <laughs> we're, we're getting we're getting deep into pizza pops and now into your life now. Um, would you forget a traumatic experience if you could? Yes. Oh, you're actually the first one to answer that. I'm, I'm interested to I see why. Don't know if I have one specifically in mind by any means, but what you thinking for it? Uh. Trauma, I mean, it's awful. Trauma is awful. I mean, there's no, besides, I'm sure that the, the answer of like, you grow from it, but you grow from everything. Um, True. Did that trauma make you a better person? If you can make a strong point for that, sure, don't forget it. But I think mostly it's, it's going to fuck you up. I mean, I deal with a lot of people with my work who have gone through a lot of trauma and I wouldn't say they're ever better for it. They, they deal with that trauma literally every day now. Like whether, you know, they're still living in a horrible situation. Of course they're dealing with it. But like trauma that happened forever ago that's completely in the past, they still live with the consequences of that trauma. So mm -hmm. there there's often times where if it would have never happened, their life would be infinitely better. Yes, you, you, can, you can go the route of I've learned from it, but like, legit trauma isn't just something that's like oh it was like a bad day and i learned from it or something bad happened. of course, of course yes but yeah, like yeah. trauma it, i mean that's a very 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 serious thing and of course uh you know i oh a child was sold into trafficking uh that's a big trauma but you know what maybe as an adult they learn from it it's like no yeah yeah <laughs> there's a lot of trauma that should obviously this is a, a fictional scenario but should be deleted if possible um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That'd be fantastic i mean that's a, in a perfect world sure so yeah if if you could take trauma and get rid of it i'm 100 percent down for it there's there are gonna be very little times where i think that your life is better because of a trauma i think you can you can make positive things out of a trauma but i think the, the net gain isn't going to be a thing i think it's always going to be a net loss i mean it's trauma it's awful it's it's horrible i think maybe maybe defining what trauma could be um 
like okay. I think when you say the word trauma anybody says the word trauma I think that's a very 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 serious thing that's not a, like a word to like just be saying like oh you can grow from it like no trauma is like that, those are huge steps back and that's something that a lot of times you can't even recover from so I'm gonna go with I, delete them and, that, and that's fair to, I, I love it because it's something like and, and this is why I love this format of conversations because I'm meeting people that I today is the first time you and I have talked like this since yeah. um, we I jumped in your stream about a week or two ago and said hey Sam like I'd love to have you on sort of thing um, and I see also too Strong is saying like certain traumatic situations are certainly not good for you in the long run I'm going to go with Sam on this one um, and I, like it's it's interesting to see like I love to see other people think because I am that kind of way and, and maybe it is kind of a cliche oh and you learn from it type of thing but my trauma is a lot different from other people's and other people have different traumas that, that obviously maybe people would like to forget. And, and yes, obviously my, my, my trauma probably isn't as, I don't know, maybe trauma, trauma comparing isn't probably the best thing, but it maybe isn't sure. as, as bad as maybe someone else has it, or at least in my opinion, mine isn't as bad as some other people. And, and I'm very fortunate for that. Um, cause my answer would be the opposite of yours is, is I wouldn't want to forget it, but obviously there is people that definitely have other ways of seeing it and, and I think that just makes it a little more interesting and which also leads me into my next question um being oh my goodness where did I, I lost it where'd it go oh what uh, what life-changing event have you experienced and it doesn't have to be traumatic it doesn't ha it, it can be but it doesn't have to be something that's bad or it can be also something that's good wow okay um Life-changing event. Mm. That's that's crazy. Um. Okay. I'm trying to trying to avoid one of them. <laughs> um, and find a different one because you know life changes all the time. Life-changing event would be. Here's a positive one, sort of. So. When I got my first real, I'm going to call it a real job. I mean, obviously I had jobs that were just as valid, really. But mm -hmm. um, my first, like, I used my degree to try to get a job and, you know, had to go into an office all the time and not work in a factory anymore. Um, I think that was life-changing in so many ways because it kind of made me somewhat buckle down a little bit, um, do a nine-to-five type of thing. Um, what was you the say for better question? or for worse? Uh, it is what life changing event have you experienced? Okay, so I mean, I would say that, and it would be for the better. Um, okay, and to kind of expand upon it is my whole life after that has been not all of it. There was a time where I took off some some years and traveled and did some things, but has really focused on bettering myself instead of staying stagnant in you know living with friends in like kind of shithole houses and like not really doing anything to better my life. Um, I took this, mm -hmm. this leap into this horrifying, in my opinion, horrifying job that I didn't, I was so scared to do. Cause I'm like, man, all these people are adults. I'm like 21 out of college. I live in houses that smell like weed constantly. And I have people passed out on the floor, like college esque houses. Um, Jeez, yeah. You know, wow. like, I mean, they weren't, yeah. like, horrible situations, but, like, they weren't, like, the professional, like, all of my coworkers have, like, the white picket fence and kids and things, and I'm just, like, yeah. showing up in, like, a ripped jean jacket, I'm like, what's up? Um, so, like, taking <laughs> that leap into, like, I was so scared. I was just, like, damn, like, this is, like, a for real thing, and I feel like I've, I've made a lot of good life choices where I've propelled my life in a better direction, and it's scary every time, and, like, doing that and getting out of my comfort zone um every time is like a huge small life change let's say let's like just slightly getting better and doing these things that scare me but that one was like mm -hmm. it's memorable in me in my opinion because like i was like a two interview process and like there was 90 other applicants and it was like i was Damn. so scared and i didn't think it was like like i was i don't know i was just so fucking scared and like anxious and like even when i got the job i'm like oh, okay i gotta go in there and like do this job and like try to learn it and like i don't know a lot of people and it just didn't feel like what That's i was scary doing. so out of my comfort zone so doing yeah. that was like so life-changing and like 
when I finally did it, it was it, it was ended up being great. Um, for a while, I mean, there was there was times where I'm just like, why am I working in a cubicle? This sucks. I'm gonna move to Seattle. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> mostly, it was a a fantastic change. And every time I make a big change like that, it's usually you know for the best. You know, getting out of your comfort zone and doing something, whether it's like it's just telling somebody you have a crush on them. That that was my most recent one. Like I told somebody I had a crush on Ooh. them, and I was just like fucking so scared and i and i kept tweeting about it i'm like yo i have this crush i feel like i'm fucking in middle school right now because like i am nervous to tell to tell them and like all this shit and like eventually i did and it worked out great and it's it's fantastic um awesome yeah but See? like why was i i, I great. kept thinking, like why am i nervous about this and like why am i overthinking this so i was like oh should i text first should i wait for him to text me like all this dumb yeah. shit like I felt like awesome, though. weirdly giddy at points and weirdly sad at points. I'm just like, this is not like me because I've had like plenty of relationships. I'm an adult. I'm 29 years old. I shouldn't be this weirdly giddy. Looking but good for fun. 29, my friend. What's that? I said looking good for 29. Oh, thank you, thank you. 30 though, <laughs> going downhill from there. Good ball. <laughs> Let's go. Great. So, we, we, so what you're saying is we can expect a birthday 30 stream where you're gonna be shaving your head. Sounds great. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I get enough <laughs> subs or something, sure, why not? How many? Two subs. Two subs. Do that. <laughs> I, have low, I have a low bar. Low bar. All right. Well, I'm sure we can get those two subs done. Do you have any lights for those two, for for subscribers? I do. It's a, that's my favorite. Well, my favorite one is my raid lights, but. Uh, I do have sub lights and there it's like a dance party and then some dubstep goes off and woo. Sounds good. So what, so real question here is what if we got you on stream today? <laughs> two subscribers? Uh, God. <laughs> I don't know if I'll shave my head. Uh, what would I do for two subscribers right now? That's like five whole dollars in my pocket. You know, that's a, I mean, well, well but then here, here's a question. I was more adamant about the shaving the head. So I'm more interested to see if we get well, so you could change your number. You could change your number. Yeah, I mean if if we can get on stream. Or you could also say how many so this is this is what I did with CJ. I don't know if you saw this video, but how many likes would it take on TikTok to get you to shave your head on stream? Oh uh, likes on TikTok. Oh man. Yeah. So so not to like offend any of the TikTokers in here, which is you, I hate TikTok. I don't <laughs> that shit like i'm like such a jaded old man i'm like you tiktokers get off my lawn like uh, <laughs> i just don't get it i'm like vine was better um so i don't really know like how many is a lot but i'm gonna have to say a thousand likes you have to give me a thousand likes on tiktok huh i'm saying it. i, I will i will i will <laughs> i will add right now we got almost two thousand on cj skydiving one what yeah is he skydiving? How many? How many did he say? No, he, he, he said five hundred thousand. Jesus. Okay. Well, okay. I shut up mine then. That's what you're saying. I, you could. You, I mean, you could change it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I mean, million, I'm. Million likes. Yeah. Shaving your head. Get million. <laughs> Go for a million. Good luck. All right. Bet. <laughs> on stream though. That better be on stream. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll do anything for content. Sounds like a good bucket lips. Welcome, but hundred thousand likes is easy. Maybe I should have told him. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I should have said anything. I should just let you do it. And, and I mean, I could always just edit it out and just <laughs> clip it as that. And when I do the tw the, the TikTok video later, um, but okay, I will I will hold you to a million. If I can get a million likes, I mean, unless you want to do subscribers, we could do subscribers today. Let's say how many subscribers? All right, million. <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig sitting there over there doing his, his stream that he's been doing for like the past nine days and he's like yeah. excuse me <laughs> yeah. Hi, that, 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 how are you doing that's that's crazy is bucket one of your um friends as well mm -hmm. bucket lips awesome introduced me to the guy i was telling you about that i have a crush on i don't know if uh oh. i don't know if bucket bucket knows that but i mean it's pretty obvious pretty obvious i don't I know if he's I, I, I don't know if you saw it too. Is is um, my mom was asking what did, what did your crush say? He was pretty into it, but there was like, uh, but I think we should maybe just stay friends for now. I'm like, okay. And then the very next day, he was like, Nah, I really was into that text. Like, that's sick. And I'm like, oh, sick. So 
pretty positive. Well, I, wish I would you, say. I wish you guys the best. I'm gonna take him on a date pretty pretty soon. Sooner than you later. do that. I'll do my best. I'll, I'll stream it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? My head, dude. Like oh, I'm how many to likes to stream it? <laughs> how many likes to propose first date? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> um, well, and one thing I put here, and that was before we kind of rabbit holed it into the into this the shaving the head thing and all that stuff, is I actually, and so I, I think I I'm a firm believer is if when you're the most uncomfortable is when you build the most um, interesting like most interesting things and you get you get the most out of life in a sense. There is you can take him to movie in Road D. I agree. Um, <laughs> Road is D. That you can. Yeah. Nice. Uh, hey, that's what you said. You said that earlier too. You said but now it sounds sexual, and I like it. Right, sorry. Sorry, mom. Not appropriate. It's okay. My 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 mom's my mom's my, mom, my mom's got a good sense of humor. <laughs> she probably she's probably laughing at that one. Um, is I actually have my vision board right behind me. That's why I keep on looking over to my side here. Is that I have a vision board here, and one of the words about in the center here it says "seek discomfort." And I don't know if you've ever watched. Um, yes theory or any of the stuff they do on YouTube but I I, I kind of got that quote from them and and how they kind of see their their selves and how they do things because I think when you are the most uncomfortable is when the most interesting things happen in life and I'm not saying they're all positive but at least you get a different aspect in life and that's kind of a big part of why I'm doing this today too is I mean I'm not the most comfortable with talking with strangers <laughs> we could put it that way sure. but and also putting myself this open and out to the point where anyone could say anything about me and in, in that sense that definitely scares me and i'm sweating a lot right now <laughs> okay. um but it's something that i i i've had a lot of fun doing and oh, yeah. every single time i've stepped away from it i've stepped away with a bigger insight and i think that's so important and i mean i also have to be careful of my me mental health and how it, it's definitely taken a toll doing this because it's anxiety is like ramped up for like three hours as I do this but it's also exciting in a sense too it's not just the scared anxiety it's also a very like excited anxiety if that makes sense yeah yeah no I think I think getting out of your comfort zone most all the time is a good idea as long as you're doing it purposefully totally. obviously of course, you know, course you're putting yes. your, uh, out of your comfort zone by somebody else but um, yeah I think it's, uh, it's the only way to grow a lot of times Totally. Um, right. My, my next one for you. What's hmm. one thing that you hope to never forget? This conversation. <laughs> uh, I, I hope not. Uh, I already forgot the question. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I hope to never forget is to be – oh, God, this is going to sound so goddamn corny, but whatever. It's just to be kind. I think – like in in small situations and in big situations like everyday type of thing just be kind like sometimes i'm having a bad day and i'm not you know maybe not going to be kind to somebody i don't know i yelled at somebody in my chat once i felt very very bad um oh really that's yeah. a story. it doesn't sound like me does it uh no it doesn't i was playing cuphead and i was very mad <laughs> at cuphead <And laughs> okay guy, that sounds a little more like you <laughs> yeah, yeah. this guy in chat like didn't really know him very well he had popped into like maybe two streams or something nice guy but he kept like he like said he's like oh i just watched this movie and i was like oh what is it he's he said willie's wonderland which is a new nick cage movie nope no okay. i'm lying it was similar to that it's called banana splits which is like exactly like willie's wonderland it's basically five nights at freddy's but without five nights at freddy's like logos and stuff uh so it's like okay. animatronic chuck e cheese comes to life and kills um Oh, okay. So, so he's like, oh, I just watched this. I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. He's like, you should really watch the trailer. I'm like, oh, yeah, I for sure will. And then he, like, mentioned it again. And I'm like, oh, yeah, but I think I should probably watch it off stream because, like, I don't know what is in the trailer, nor do I really want to show that on stream or whatever. And then, like, again, he asked. I think he, he had to have asked, like, four times because I was like, like, I was like, I've already said no multiple times. I think he might have even posted it in chat. He's like, oh, here's the link in case you wanted to watch it. And, like, I died, like, this really dumb death, you know, in the game. You know, that game is fucking rage-inducing already. So I'm like, bro, I'm yeah. not going to watch the fucking trailer. And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> Lord. Like, I really yelled at a guy for telling me to watch a trailer. Like, Jesus. Um, so that's that story. Not not the hugest deal. And he 
he was like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, no, dude, don't be sorry. I'm fucking sorry, dude. I feel like I'm <laughs> um, Yeah, it's one of the things you're like, ah, oh, damn, I should have said that. that yeah, just... but like, I usually don't get like that. I'm not playing Cuphead in my normal day-to-day -day life. So usually <laughs> I don't have that kind of rage. But I think just in general, um, even just not being mean to people, but actually being kind to people um, is a big deal. I think that's something that, I should try to like focus on and remember like if I'm not trying to be kind to people then I'm not doing enough to be kind. I think if I if I'm just a genuinely kind person and like I just live my life the way it is like that's fine, but I think I should be trying to be kind, trying to be kinder just in general all the time or I'm not doing enough. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody, not just me. I think everybody should at least be trying. Not just you know, just keep your head down, be quiet. Like, if that's the type of person you are in public, awesome. But, like, literally just smile at somebody or just, you know, say something nice to somebody randomly. You know, whatever. Whatever it can be. It could be the littlest thing. It could be the biggest thing. Whatever. Try to be kind. Purposely totally. put that in your mind as much as you possibly can. 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 Um, if I can go do it. Or yeah. just fucking kick people in the balls. I don't give a shit what you do, but be nice about it. <laughs> I'm going to try to be You're nice welcome. to whatever you want to do. Kick I, me in the balls. Like... I'll try to say thank you. <laughs> As you play Cuphead, you're like, ah! Uh, <laughs> kick me in the balls. Hurry! I need this! <laughs> Jesus. Um, and I, I like my mom put, she's, she put, kindness cannot be overrated. And, and I think that's true. It's, it's one of those things is, I think, and you said it almost perfectly is if you're not going out of your way to be kind of kind in a sense that's maybe not enough in a sense is there right. is you have to kind of push push to kind of be that that um kind person and i mean yeah is it's there's definitely a i've definitely noticed myself as trying to put like i don't want yes men in my life i don't need i don't need yes people in my life mm -hmm. um but the fact of um having people that are generally kind and um and like genuine about it people that not just doing it because they're on a twitch stream or something like that is sure. something that I've, I've definitely looked into in kind of the, the friend groups that i've been I, i'm kind of pushing myself towards recently um so yeah, i definitely didn't see that um just gonna go a little bit off track but it's one of my favorite questions so i have to ask it what's your biggest fear in life Ooh, biggest fear my dog dying probably legitimately um scares the fuck out of me uh <laughs> it's probably it's fair i don't know if that's shallow but like i could it no could be not at all I'm just like goddamn dude one time like recently recently i got her a new collar and i didn't clip it all the way so i put her out on the like the chain that i had outside and then i jumped in my car to check out this thing i was doing on this new radio i got in my car I was seeing if i could whatever i jumped in my car next thing i know my neighbor is knocking on my door he's like hey it's your dog, right? And was just sitting at her, sitting at his feet, like chilling. Uh, and I was like, uh, she had no collar on, and had completely just fell off, and she just ran around. I don't know where she went because I wasn't watching. I was in my car doing something. Expected her just to be on the line. So here, here she is, and like, luckily, she was interested enough in my neighbor to not run away. So I went and like scooped her up, and she didn't try to run away from me. I just held her there while I talked to my neighbor. I'm like, oh, thanks, trying to stay calm like oh yeah she got off the thing <laughs> you know <laughs> but inside i'm like what the fuck dude she probably ran out onto the road and i don't even know what happened like she could have just got hit and i wouldn't have even known like oh man losing my mind then like i had already started my stream i just ran outside for like just a couple minutes so she could pee and stuff and i came inside and my stream was like my intro video was about to end so i had to be like ready and i'm just like oh my god so i sat down i'm like what's up everybody some crazy shit just fucking happened to me. <laughs> like, I'm still processing this. Um, cause she is a runner. Like, if she gets off her leash, she's she wants to go see everything, and she's not aware of what cars feel like when they hit her. Uh, she's not aware that that's gonna hurt. So don't run that way. Um, she's looking yeah. at me right now, like, what the fuck? Yeah, is yeah, I can tell. <laughs> um, so you're talking about me on stream. I know you are. <laughs> keep saying outside, and she's like, what? Oh. <laughs> so, we're going right cars. now but yeah so that's that's genuinely <laughs> my biggest fear is like I've, I've had pets die and like uh i've come to terms with like de death is a thing you know like i used to be super scared when i was younger that you know my mom was gonna die and you know my mom is gonna die everyone's gonna die mabel's gonna die but like i'm so afraid 
I think more with Mabel because it's my responsibility. I mean, my mom's death will not be my fault, probably. Um, sorry <laughs> if it is, mom. I love you to death, but oh, damn it! I killed her with my love. Um, Smothered her with love. Yeah, Mabel. Oh man, I would. That's a oh. great segue. Sorry, is that what my mom just put there? Is about that I have ADHD and um, I was like, I took off like Mabel during my entire childhood. I have so many stories, but the one that I will share that's probably one of my favorite is when I first had a filling for a, a cavity. Oh yeah. And I was, mom, you'll have to correct me on this if I'm wrong. I think I was six or seven. I was young, mm-hmm. and I went to the dentist, and there was. In- Excluding myself, there was three people, so four people, I guess, total. There was the dentist, my dad, and the dentist's assistant Mm -hmm. who were in the room, or the dental assistant, whoever it would have been. And um, they all turned around for one second, and within that one second, I was already out the door. And in, it was in a mall, so I, I, I went out of the thing, I sprinted out of there, and then down like, I don't know if a hallway would be the best way to do it. Like, you know how malls are and how there's like a, like little like stretches of like, like where it passes the stores? So I ran down the hall and made it to the escalator, started going down the escalator. I made it halfway down and I felt a yank on my collar and it's, which was my father, catching me at the very halfway point. And to which I got planted into the chair with my dad sitting on my feet for the rest of the appointment. And uh, <laughs> that was, that's my story of, of uh, young Brendan taking off in his childhood yeah. at least you once. Dentist in a fucking mall? That's so weird. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's I not, I, I don't know. Like it, yeah, it's kind of hit and miss. Like, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people who don't, but yeah, no, it's, it was, it's definitely a, one of those stories that's kind of funny, and I, I re- just recently actually had my second ever filling that I've ever had, oh. and I the funniest thing was is the dentist was the exact same guy, and he's an older dude, and he's he's like you know it's funny is I haven't thought about that story in around like 15, 20 years, yeah. and he's like he's like it all came back to me when you said it. He's like he's like that's he's like that's one of the stories I used to tell coworkers for like the longest time when it was like when it first happened, and now it's. No, it's just one of those things. And I was, I was like, it's funny because like he probably sees people all day long, and it was just yeah. one of those things that he, he, he totally remembers. And it's funny how that he remembered that. And that's yeah, awesome. so. But yeah, I know that was one of those ones. That, but yeah, so maybe I, my I, biggest, my biggest, my biggest fear in life would be getting a feeling. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Uh, how old is Mabel, by the way? She's three years old. Oh, she's just a puppy. She's just a little puppers. Oh, what did I say? Did I say puppies? You love puppies. She doesn't think that she is a puppy. She's Mabel, and she's a dog. But if I say puppies, that means any other dog. So if I say, oh, you're a cute puppy, she's like, what? Where? And then she starts looking everywhere. <laughs> like, where is there a puppy? I'm like, you're the puppy. <sighs> can't can't my, train them all, you know? My <laughs> my dad's dog, if you say the word, word squirrels or bird, or sorry, bad bird, she will freak out. Like really, she'd be like, she's like start barking and like run to all the windows back and forth, like just freaking out. Um, and yeah, it's dogs it's, are great, totally. Um, yeah, and my I'm trying to th- see here what I had here. Um, let's see, what do we got for for questions here that I haven't asked? Oh, this is a good one. If you died tonight, what would you regret not doing? Because you did touch on about how we could, we're all going to die one day. We oh, sure great. are. Apparently today's my day, huh? Um, <laughs> thanks for speaking that into existence. Get that um, mini bar open. <laughs> yeah, right. I said it. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Fucking lit party at my funeral. Mabel, come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Come here. You want to come be on this question about me dying? Come here. Oh, you want this one? Needles. Come here. Come on. Uh, if I died tonight, one thing I would regret not doing. Wow. Probably quite a few things. Um, traveling more. I do love traveling. Um, travel I've traveled everywhere, but if I had, if I was to choose right now, would you be Japan? If I had any going on a date with my crush? Yes. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, 
not spending more time with my mother, probably. Uh, I do spend time with my mother, but, you know, it's never enough. My mom would say the exact same. I mean, I agree with yeah. that, too. Yeah, like, there's a lot of times where I, I definitely say, <laughs> I, I definitely, there's times I'm like, I'm sorry, mom, like, oh, I can't right now, I can't right now. And, I mean, there probably is times that I probably, that I, I, I legitimately don't have the time, but there's also times where I probably should be just making, pushing for more time and, because I'll definitely regret it one day. Yeah. Don't want to hit your head on the table. Oh, Miss Mabel's on the stream. There's Mabel. Mabel's on the stream. I just had to oh, coerce so her with like two different treats, but. Smart Mabel. Mwah. I got her. <laughs> ah. um, um, yeah, that'd be a couple regrets I'd have. I mean, I don't have a lot of re regrets. I mean, I'm living my life mostly the way I want to. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of the things would be like financial, like would be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't go to Japan. It's going to be a lot of money. But. Oh. Yeah, like I, 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 so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like totally sidetracked by this. Your how adorable your dog is, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's usually what I find myself doing in your streams too. Is on the Mabel cam, I'm literally just staring in the top corner, like. Yeah, she's like, usually just sleeping, dog. and then she stretches, and yeah. I'm like, oh, look how cute, look how cute the stretching is. We love stretching. We love puppies. <gasps> <laughs> the she nose goes puppies. to, she right? Knows all the puppies. Where could they be, Miss Mabel? Who's here? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Nobody, nobody's here. Maybe I'm sorry. Um, uh, what's got? I, I I agree. Like I I I'd love to go to Japan too. I think that's it's such a, from what I've heard, it's such an amazing, beautiful place. Oh yeah. It's something that I, I definitely want to do is or go to and see as well because I think it'd be something that's uh, one of those life changing events. As we spoke of earlier, I think it would be, a, it'd become one of them as well. I have a travel visa that works in Japan, so like I, I think it most of Asia. I think it works first. So I went to China few years ago awesome. now uh but it's good for 10 years and it works for japan so i can go travel to japan um for a lot cheaper because like you have to get the travel visa and it's not an easy process sometimes but so now i, I would like to do it in the next seven years before that runs out yeah fair enough oh, what's doesn't... what's the best place that you think you've ever been what's or what's your favorite place i guess would be the I, maybe not um, the best place but favorite china place. was very cool um I also really, really like Seattle. I lived out in Seattle for six months. Um, I know that's somewhat close to you, but I just love it out that way. Um, yeah. I've been to a few islands that have been nice, but I don't really like warm weather, um, like Caribbean type islands. Uh, so you like Seattle? <laughs> I like Seattle's weather. It's perfect. Um, I just, oh, man, I love yeah. Seattle. But China was so great. Um, I wish I had more time just to kind of do my own thing, but like we were on like kind of an itinerary and it was with my mom and grandma. So it's like, wasn't like most fast paced shit, but like just trying the foods over there and going to weird like markets and stuff. Um, yeah, I know you're super close to Seattle. Yeah. I envy you. I love it out yes, there. Me, um, me and me and Sam were talking about that last night, actually on his stream, we were talking about how, how, uh, we're, we're, uh, we live in how, how close he is to us or well, how close he was to us when he was living in Seattle for a bit. Um, and yeah, and how basically the weather in Vancouver and Seattle are so similar. Like it's, if yeah, if they're, remember, they're basically the same kind of weather. I, I remember going to some fish and chips place in Vancouver that was so goddamn good. It was like this tiny, tiny place that was popping. Like apparently it's super popular. Um, I wish I could remember the name, but my goodness, it was like the best fish and chips I ever had in my life. Yeah. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. If there's anything I can think of that would be a... A good one. I don't know. Off the top it of my was head. like down at this like very touristy, like almost like a pier kind of like a dock. Was it? Hang on. Was it in Vancouver or was it like one of the surrounding cities? I think it was in Vancouver, but again, this was five years ago. I'm not too sure. Vancouver fish and chips. <laughs> one of the, one of the places that I would say like that I've gone to probably the best fish and chips is called Pajos. Pajos is really awesome. Uh, but I don't think that's in Vancouver, though. I don't. I don't believe there's one in Vancouver, as far as I know. Mm. It's pretty like Stevenson's. Stevenson must be in Stevenson's near the airport. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I probably wouldn't have known if I was in a different uh, spot. What, either. Were, what, what were you in Vancouver for? Um, we were just visiting. So I moved to Seattle, and my mom flew out to visit and we're like well what are we gonna do so we did some stuff around seattle we ended up going up to vancouver to go to some 
suspension bridge near there? Capilano. Yep. Sure. Very yeah. well known. Uh, that was that's cool. That's near where I went to school. It was, it was, it was like the day after Christmas, so it was like super like lit up and really nice around Christmas time. Oh, yeah. They do they do awesome. They do all the bridge, and then they do like a walk around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Capilano so, suspension that was bridge. Cool. One of those. Yeah, it is very cool. It's it's probably one of the best one of the best things to see in uh, during Christmas time in Vancouver. It's it's definitely up there. We have a lot of things that we have there, but it's there's definitely a lot there. Yeah, no. Um, North Vancouver is kind of where that would be. I, and that's that that area is very beautiful. That area. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I want to go out there so bad. I miss traveling. I've only done like one like very COVID safe traveling in the last year, and it was to Tennessee, and it was just like. It's fine. There's so many. There's so much extra parts of like from what I've heard from the people who have COVID traveled and like we've done one trip to a place close to Vancouver. It's about two hours away called Whistler, and that was like in the summer of last year. And it was one of those things. It was masks everywhere and things like that. And it's it, it definitely changes an aspect. And it's it's one of those things that I I do miss too. I'm a, I'm a big fan of traveling. I love my Disneyland. Um, oh yeah. And so let's go. We've gone a couple of times. And so that's, that's something that I would, I would, I, that's probably one of the first trips that I'll be going back on once I, once I am able to and safely can do so. I would love to do that. Um, yeah. But unfortunately now is not the time for that. Um, and if you want to come over, you've, it sounds like you've already, you can visit um, my mom and maybe even have a place to stay with you and Mabel <laughs> when, hey, when this is all over with. Got the hook so, up now. Yeah, exactly. She got a very comfy couch. Actually, she got new couches. So, I mean, they're probably really comfy now. Um, so, yeah. so yeah so the um going into the next question um it would be sorry i'm just looking here which one i asked you you touched a little bit on your parents in the last couple of things um i i, I my, my next question is are you close with your parents and why uh, yeah my mother yeah for sure my dad wasn't around or anything um but my mom for sure also, I I'm ninety percent sure I just found the fish and chips restaurant. It's called Tony's Fish and Oyster Cafe. Uh, that's good. Shout out to Tony's and, Fish and Oyster Cafe. Let's yeah, go. That brings me that, <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, it looks just like okay. Um, great fish and chips from Vancouver. Go check it out. Um, back to that question. Um, yeah, I'm close with my mom. She raised me. Um, love her to death. She's very cool. All my friends love her. Um, she's like my mom. Yeah. She, the, the, yeah. Your mom reminds me a lot of my mom just from the way she's interacting in chat my mom jumps into my chat all the time um she's so a little get bit your, my mom a, into your chat so that we can have the mom talk she did follow <laughs> me 48 minutes ago so it's true um but yeah i mean she's she's a little bit more of a, a stick in the mud uh sort of she's she's cool shit but like she she'll like like i said she'll text me she's like are you drinking soda did you? I saw on your bank statement that came in the mail to my house that uh, you spent thirty dollars <laughs> at Domino's. Uh, what's that about? Uh, things like that. Oh but she means That's... well. She's just looking out. But like, jeez, mom, micromanaging my life a little bit. Uh, love her to death. I'm going there tomorrow morning, and then I I'm gonna drop my dog off. She's probably gonna make me breakfast because she's a great woman and she's a great mother to me. And she, I will then go to the awesome. office. And then I will come back to her house, spend the night, do the same thing again the next day. So Mabel's going to spend two days at Grandma's house. Yay. Oh, the treats yeah. are coming. I know. <laughs> she's spoiled over there. My mom just spoils the shit out of her. See, but <sighs> Mabel deserves it, so that's yeah, good. True. It's true. Honestly, it's like almost like a little mini vacation when I drop her off there. Um, I try to, if I go to the office, it's out of the way for me, like a good 45 minutes out of the way. But like... I drop her off so she doesn't have to be home for 10 hours alone. Um, and then she just gets spoiled like shit. So I was like, spa day, let's go. I'm going to go on a million walks. Yeah. A million of them. Deserved walks, too. Mm -hmm. And mom, yeah, no, you're not. My mom said I'm not sticking in the mud. What's it called? I'm, she's behaving herself. Yeah. And she's, she's like, um, no, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, that's what I was saying. The difference was it was, uh, you know, yeah. if I would have made a joke about row D, she'd been like, Samuel. <laughs> get the full I'm name in there yeah Samuel yeah. come on not on stream <laughs> um getting to kind of the end here but I have a, still a couple more questions here that I, I've wrote, written down here that I'm that I'm definitely interested in um doing so you're very 
um, tinkerer and someone who who definitely messes around with things. And and being a tinkerer, you usually run into a lot of problems. They usually don't last too long, but they they usually definitely have problems. So, what problems are you currently grappling with? Ooh, okay. Uh, well, what? How deep of problems are we looking into? Or just the tinkering? You can go thing? whatever you want. I mean, it's, it could uh, be anything. I just related to that, so you had something to kind of work off of. Okay. Um. Well, if we're if we're gonna go with like me tinkering around with OBS stuff, there's a there's a thing that makes my camera get really big, and then it goes, I'm angry. But for some reason, the audio cuts off right at the end, so it goes, I'm angry. And I'm like, oh, I don't oh. want to fix it. So that's to do with the tinkering type of thing. Uh. There's that issue. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm not really having a lot of problems focusing. That's maybe. good. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working right now. Uh, so, but I, mean, <laughs> I can kind of clock out and clock in whenever I want. I didn't know how long this thing was going to be, but uh, I definitely have like four more I'm hours so of work to do. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I'll just work till nine. It's fine. I uh, just watch movies <laughs> at work. So it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, no, there's, I mean, there's real no, no problems. No problems at all. Just living my life, man. That's good. I don't got problems. I got answers, man. I got answers. Tell me your problems. I'll fucking answer. I'll get down to the bottom of it. I, I definitely come into you for all my questions for OBS because I've seen you. You definitely out. You, you seem like you've outsmarted the people who've designed OBS because <laughs> oh, I, I think that I, you're, I you're, you're a lot pushing of to limits. From YouTube. That's, that's all. But like knowing that there's even these things out there is is interesting, impressive to me. Yeah, it's it's fun. It is fun to try to figure out things that I can do, or like how to integrate them into like channel points or like the the, the barrel roll thing. I totally just got from somebody on YouTube. Um, I was like, that's easy, and I did it as like a test to see if I could figure out the plugins he was using and stuff, and it worked. So I'm like, sick. I mean, I just left it on there. Um, but I'm always trying to think of like. Like, oh, I can trigger a video with a command. How do I do something like that? And then I do the hangman That's thing. That's cool. So, like, yeah. Um, you haven't been sleeping? I haven't been sleeping. Why aren't you sleeping, bro? Well, I, th- I like I said from earlier, I think it's part of this, like a little bit of this. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm putting a lot into this, and I started this wanting to do this two days, two days a week. I'm gonna mm-hmm. try to later and later in the month once, I, but I'm gonna split them up, not so they're back to back, because I think that's too much altogether. Um, but I think. The anxiety, whether it be excitement or nervousness, is definitely getting to me. Um, yeah. I actually, I actually woke up this morning and panicked because I thought it was I was like late. Like I thought I was like two hours late to like starting. Uh, I was like, I told everyone it's going to be at twelve, and oh my god, like I wasn't there, and and it's like that was that like that part of it. But I don't know. Like aside from that, that's that's pretty much it. I actually, what my mom doesn't know is I have been sleeping better recently. I actually oh, got good. I got seven hours last night, which is pretty good for me. Um, and the past couple of days I've gotten eight and even 10 a couple of days ago, which is like really Damn, good for me. Nice. It doesn't happen at all. Um, so as long as I can keep that going, we're, we're on a roll here. Um, and then I have, I'm on my, I'm on to my two last questions. So feel, feel free to ask any questions if you, if you have two um, within here, but my, um, my, my, you, we talked a lot today about movies and things like that. And mm-hmm. so I was wondering, if your life was a movie, what would the title be and why? My life was a movie, what would the title be and why? Hmm. Correct. And it'd have to be an interesting title because I, I understand the importance of clickbait. Um, nobody, <laughs> watched, nobody watched the movie, the, what was it called? The, see, I don't even remember. It's a scary movie that came out in October. The, not Slender Man. The oh my god! Hold on, I gotta remember this. Slender Man? No. Uh, bye Bye Man? No. The Empty Man. It was okay. a movie called The Empty Man. Nobody saw it, and I blame a lot of that on like studio stuff, but also the name is just that awful. Uh, but it was really good. <laughs> it was a really good horror movie. Um, so that aside, uh, I need to come up with a good name. So I'm gonna say. Um. Hmm. Capitalist Murder Squad. The Sam Fassler story. Okay. Okay. Capitalist is nothing to do with the movie, but it's gonna get them to go in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the movie's gonna be about. Wait, can it be fiction? 
It's supposed to be about your life. Damn it. Oh, man, I was going to be like a fucking elf or a knight or something cool. Okay, it's about my life. I think it would be about my all of my past relationships. It's going to be like a like a time, not lapse, but like a expend, extended time piece about all of my relationships and how they all fail. <laughs> Fun, right? That would be <laughs> it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Don't worry. So you'll like it. Sam Fashion versus the world, it sounds like to me. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Sam Fashion versus the universe. I don't Maybe. Something like that. Um, which brings me to my last question. And it's more of an invite than a question than anything. Um, tomorrow night, I am planning on doing a games night in my Discord. I would mm. love for you to be a part of it. We're thinking of doing a Jack Bark, Jack, Jackbox Party Games games. It's the first time I've ever played it. I haven't played... Um, and we both saw that at the same time. Yeah. The Tales from Road, Road D, exactly. Um, and the so yeah, I think it'd be fun. I don't know if you do. You have are you streaming tomorrow? I don't know. Or do you I'm have time not. tomorrow? I will be so, at my mom's house overnight. Okay. So right. a little a little movie day with my mom and Mabel. Um, what time is that at? We're doing it six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that would be eight p.m. your time. Okay. Um, I wonder if I could join in with my phone at a certain you, point. You can. You actually, what's it called the um the game? Uh, have you ever played Jack Jackbox Party games? A couple of them, yeah. Yeah, so it is it is a mobile game that you can play. So a lot of play. And we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm excited to do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'll a couple try of house, house guests to come play, and so for part of that, I don't know there. if. I'll be able to jump in the Discord or not. Maybe I can on my phone as well, but it might be hard with both of them. But maybe I'll just pop. It's going to be streamed or no? No stream. Just what's going Just not literally on Discord. Okay. I mean, so okay. anyone in the Discord is welcome to join. Um, if you're in the Discord, you are open to join and play in game night. So I'd love to have you guys there. I think it is followers only. Um, so you might have to follow that. I believe I have to go look at that. Um, so make sure you're followed, which is totally free. Um, but we're going to do a games night. We're going to have a couple, ho hopefully we're going to have a couple streamers in there. That's the kind of the plan is to get a couple friends in there and, and people who are, who, who I find interesting, maybe guests that have been in the past or guests that are coming up, um, will be in there. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of my plan. Um, so yeah, so if you're interesting, I'd love to have you in there and we, we can talk a little more about that after, but if you, if you have time, that'd yeah, be great. Sure. If you could. Oh yeah. Thanks for awesome. Time, no worries. Um, at the, and then my last thing, this mm -hmm. is up to you as I prepare for this raid that we're going to go into here. Um, the floor is yours. Anything that you want to shout out? Anything that you um, have going on? Um, yeah. Let's hear it. Uh, well, let me just say first off, thanks to you uh, for having me on. I appreciate it. It's been it's been great. Um, thanks for your time. Yeah, of course. Um, if you guys want to check me out, I know a couple of you followed. Um, I'm streaming three to four times a week. I got uh, I don't know. I got some fun stuff in the works. Um, I might be working with. Some of you probably know the uh, Blue Collar Media Group. I may be working with those guys soon. So bringing some bigger content um, with the help of those guys in that community. Um, so that could be very fun. I know I know, probably a few of you are pretty aware of what that is. But uh, other than that, you know, awesome. be nice to people. Try to actively be nice, like more nice than you are just normally one time a day. That's all. Just do that. Try that one time. Just think about it just like hmm, i should be nice what should i do just message somebody message an old co-worker they don't work with anymore say hey remember that time we worked together love that i don't know it's good i like that i like that that's a good challenge i think i think yeah challenge yourself to go and text someone i i will even do that too i think go text someone you haven't texted recently co-worker friend someone that you talk, used to talk to and just be like hey like hope you're doing well yeah i like that so Easy peasy. If you, guys do if you guys do exclamation mark guest in the chat, you will find all of Sam's things. He is also a house guest in the Discord, so feel free to, to do that and join his Discord too. I, 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 I'll we'll have to figure out some sort of way to see if you can get it linked in there if you want to throw it in the the, the, um, the uh, what you sell in uh, Discord. You're more than welcome to for your links for your promotion. Uh, I have no problem with that. Um, sure. But yeah, so if you want to send some of that stuff, or even all the links that we had posted here, that's totally fine. Um, we are going to get re ready to raid here. I've, I've got the person here. We're going to be starting in a few minutes here. Um, I, found, 
I found it out a way to not crash my server here. So that's 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 uh, definitely a plus here because last stream we crashed as we were trying to raid. But I wanted to say thank you all for coming out. Thank you to Sam. Um, thank you for your time. Thanks for all coming out. Uh, and let's ask this guy some questions during the raid. And I...